What's up, everybody? Welcome back to this Full Metal Alchemist DND. As always, I'm your host, Connor. With us, we have Dan as Asawa. Greetings. Zach as Tony. What? Beyond. Sorry, I said I thought I'd be lower. Nick no, is no, Elijah. Can't get any Yo. lower than Tony. Mike is Max. Yo, you. And Red as Ivan. Or, sorry, oh. not as Ivan. I looked at the name on the turn <laughs> order. Red as a new character. Slightly spoiled. He's Arthur. We'll get to him oh, later. What, oh, why, why does he have a new character? What do you mean? What do you mean, bitch? What happened? <laughs> <laughs> well, maybe if you'd stop cutting off the DM, he'd do a so, quick recap as to what happened last session. Yeah. A series of unfortunate events is the sum, the summary. Count Olaf came out of nowhere. Short anyway. terms. <laughs> Boom. <laughs> Quick recap as to what happened last time. The team fought against Mors Larvatum and his guards uh, and ended up defeating him. Tony rigged Ivan with a massive explosion, causing him to unwittingly become a suicide bomb. Fortunately, the, uh, this bested Mors, knocking him unconscious by the ensuing explosion, at which point Max tried to save Ivan by performing the taboo. But as he did not know the value of a human soul, he lost his legs in the process. I need a value already. <laughs> I got swindles. <laughs> now the team is back in town, figuring out what needs to happen next. Uh, the map you're looking at is technically Pendleton, but we're not in Pendleton. You're just at a, the southern map that I didn't make a, a map for. But you were all there with the exception of Red. Uh, Max, you are, you've been brought to the hospital. You are being fitted for auto mail and going through surgery, things like that. You have stabilized. If there's anything that anyone wants to talk about while we're here, feel free to. Otherwise, I'll keep going. I'm just going to talk to my, uh, my nurses <coughs> and doctors. You had a big day, didn't you? Do we really still need the catheter? Can we please remove it? <laughs> uh. <laughs> I can hear that exasperated say. God, <laughs> if something ever happens to me that they have to give me a catheter, I'm just going to ask them to kill me. GG. <laughs> you can always do the opposite thing and just be like, oh, I love sounding. Oh, uh. <laughs> For the love of God, I think. Dude, I hate it so much. Just the thought of it makes me physically shudder. I hate it, too. Oh. Sound really side, please. <laughs> please. <laughs> um, <clears throat> I'm going to deliver the letter that I wrote to uh, the Fuhrer. Okay. Yeah, you go. You pretty much bring it to the military outpost that's in the area. They say that they'll make sure it gets to them. Hi, Phil. Hi, Larry. Can you deliver this to the Fuhrer? Of course, Elijah. Good seeing you guys again. How are the kids? Ah, oh, you know, a little runts. I just need to show them the back of my hand, back of the belt every now and then. Well, yeah, not fun. Yeah. You know, a little bit of kindness every now and then. They'll listen more to you if you show rewards whenever they do good. Trust me. I was a, ki I was a kid not too long ago. Don't worry, they'll reward. They'll learn that after they learn. They learn the reward of not getting this hand. Wow. Fortunately, everybody has to learn that one. <laughs> anyway, see ya. But anyway, bye. <laughs> and that's it. So you can tell which of us are not fathers. <laughs> I'm pretty sure even if I had a kid, I'd still be making those jokes. My kid could be in the room, and I'd be making those jokes. He would be holding up a sign that says, help me, please. And, uh, Zach, if you were talking, you were muted. Okay. Alright, so no, no one else is doing anything special? Um, I imagine we're all going to get together and meet with Max once everything's gone through, so that's basically... Uh, you can think of it as you're all in the surgery, or you're, you're all in the hospital room right now. Oh, so we're all with him uh, already. Right. Yeah, Elijah's returned, everything like that. He's essentially just waiting on uh, things to to happen right now. Um, I guess I want to check out... I want to see how Max is doing. 
Disney hours are over. Not just play. <laughs> <laughs> wow, that sounds like something Tony would do. <laughs> no, just play. How are you feeling, Max? Uh, all things considering, uh, pretty good, I'd say. <clears throat> Your new legs look shiny. He doesn't have the le- he doesn't have the auto mail yet. How dare you, sir? The shears, <laughs> jumps look stumpy. Yes, but oh, you ain't got no legs, Lieutenant Diane. <laughs> I can. They, uh, uh, I can't. <laughs> ice cream. You can. No. Lieutenant so, Diane, ice cream. So will they be fitting you with legs when we get back to Central Max? Uh, I think they'll be doing it here. Yeah, at least I hope. <clears throat> the sooner the better. Yeah, you're aware of that. They're planning to get you fitted with them while you're here before you head out to Central. Though you obviously will take more time to get used to them. Did they say of what level uh, auto mail they'll be doing? Nope, not yet. I'd hope, given our level and what we're capable of, you'll be able to get uh, carbon fiber right away. Well, he has the money for them. Worst comes to worst, they could just have them replaced after we're done right here. That's kind of what I was thinking, too. Mm-hmm. Yeah. We'll see soon enough. <clears throat> well, I did also want to mention something to you, and maybe this isn't the most appropriate time, but... Uh, something I was going to... I'm just going to look aside at Tony. I'm going to look back to Max. So Ivan and I were Ivan and I were going to go together and working at the uh, auto mail shop that I bought. Given that he had had experience, obviously being fitted for auto mail as someone who could help relate to the customers, I'm not sure what your plans are when we get back to Central during our downtime. But if that's something you might have interest in, I'd love to have you. That sounds interesting. Let me. I'll think about it. Sounds interesting. Of course, I know it's kind of soon since what happened, but I wanted to just mention it so that if you wanted time to think, of course you had it. Of course, of course. You piqued my interest, though. I have a job, El Sawa. (laughs) Get it out to me. I feel like I'm more likely to treat people that need it from you rather than having you help. I feel like you have a lot of hostility towards me. <laughs> Kimberly's there too, if that's unclear, by the way. No, I assumed as much. It's a upsetting uh, encounter. I'm glad you're okay, Max. And I hope that whatever you did. It brought you peace. Well, I can't say it brought me peace. uh, But, uh, yeah, you know, we did what we could. What did it bring you? And we all suffered the consequences. What's that? What did it bring you? What did you see? I uh, I don't think I, I have the words to describe. To you, what <laughs> what I saw there, uh, aside from there being a gate. What kind of gate? gate? Just a looked like a stone gate. I walked through, and then and I was back here. I'd tell you more if I could, but I can't. <laughs> I don't know where it was. But what okay. exactly That's happened fine. There. You're still healing. Don't put yourself any more than you have to. We're just glad to have you alive. We took one loss. We don't need to take another, right? I mean, was it really a loss? Yes. Ivan, for all of his faults, was a great cannon foil. He did his job valiantly. And he did everything that he wanted to do, even if it annoyed us a lot and it wasn't right all the time. He still did his job. 
at least what he thought was right in his eyes. I could not shame him for that. And I wish that his family has peace. That's fair. I will, uh, we'll say one thing, though. The, the alleged law of equivalent exchange doesn't seem to, to apply when it, when it comes to alchemy such as this. It's very peculiar, very skewed. You were playing with souls, Max. Of course it was a little skewed. Yeah. What exactly were you trying to do, Max? The taboo. Oh. <clears throat> of course it's taboo in this country, yes. Yeah, this country. You're familiar enough with what he did that it was an illegal act. Well, I knew that. I was just trying to... Illegal. Forbidden doesn't, like, no one's really been jailed for it, but it's the kind of thing of, there's a reason people don't perform it, just to clarify. I gotta ask, where did you learn this? Research. I don't have any special sources here. I'm from a different country. I've already been labeled as a traitor. Who do you think will give me information here? <laughs> That's fair. The answers are there. You can find them yourself. No, thank you. I have no interest. <laughs> well, yeah, I will also pass, personally. Regardless of the situation, Max, you have my respect for attempting to revive Ivan. I wish there was more that I could have done but to the damage that he sustained there's no way the training that I had could have done anything to help him yeah those grenades really blew up I he went out in a blaze of glory for sure that's for sure Anyone who's, anyone who's looking will see a slight smirk on Kimberly's face. Oh my goodness. For Sense motive. <laughs> what would you say? <laughs> Just... <laughs> really? <I can't. laughs> yeah, you can. I'm sorry. That was, that was kind of funny. Let's that was funny that it should have been. I shouldn't be laughing now. Sense motive. Okay. I mean, what do you want from me? I didn't do anything legal. <laughs> yeah, te technically, I'm, I'm the one that broke the law. It see you aren't able to get a full grasp on what he on what the smile is about, or was that towards Tony? That was towards towards Kimberly and the smile. Oh. A little bit of both because he's kind of. I mean, I literally said the, the grenades blew I'm up. Kind of curious. I well, you know, roll a deception, Tony. <laughs> I'm gonna stop talking. <laughs> <laughs> well, I just see that you're lagging a bit there, uh, Elisha. GG. <laughs> uh, is it my internet or is it um? Uh, well, you found sound fine now. Okay. Okay. Cool. Um. So, uh, what you sense with that being towards both, you feel as though Kimberly, you can't get a solid read on. It's almost like he's smiling at an inside joke. Uh, as for Tony, him talking about like the oh yeah those grenades, am I right? It felt like, it feels a little uh, <laughs> suspicious to you. Yeah, those grenades, big grenades, right? Probably pretty scary. I'm not one to dwell on that though. Um, I did put a couple in with his grenades, as he knew, and as such, he blew up. Pretty big. It was a big bull. And he went out in the blaze of glory. That is all that we will put at that. How about that? A true soldier's death. It is just and right to die for one's country. Kimberly nods. He was a true soldier. Fought to the end. Literally, he took down the person we were going for. So... We won't forget him. He was one of us. <clears throat> one of us. One I don't remember. Did anyone us. bring back the the body, like the the malformed recreation of the taboo? 
Somebody picked up an arm. Well, uh, no, I didn't touch that. Somebody said they were grabbing an arm. I can't remember. Yeah, it was like his auto mail arm. I oh, grabbed his auto mail arm. Yeah, I did not touch his body. Okay. No, I I I thought I grabbed the auto mail arm. You did. You did. Yeah, yeah. I was yeah you did. Okay. I said they grabbed the arm. <clears throat> uh, Kimball is going to say, once Max is finished with his surgery and we head back to Central, we'll be having a funeral for him. If you don't have any plans for the arm, I figure we could at the very least use it for uh, in place of a body. I intended to turn it into his parents, so this works. All right. We do not want to show them the body. The parents will not want to see that. Nobody. I would not want to see that again. Yeah. That was a gruesome sight. Ivan truly deserves to have a better funeral than what we would have had there. Mm. Truly. And he will. He will. There are a lot of... I will make sure that it is brand. He was our friend through any fault with us. Even if we didn't get along all the time. He will be buried like a hero. No matter what he did. As all of us should be. Yes. As I'm sure all of us will be in the end. Of course. <laughs> I'm pressing X to doubt. Anyone roll a sense motive there? Hell no. <laughs> you want you want me to roll a deceive? I'll roll a deceive. Oh. Hey, you want to see my deceive, Connor? All right, bet. That was great. <laughs> Holy fuck! This <laughs> <laughs> is perfect. This is gold. I'm oh, really man. good at this, though. <laughs> Not that time. Fuck. <laughs> fuck. Hey, God, I gotta mute myself. I'm missing way too much good shit. What the fuck, bro? <laughs> Holy shit. What the well, fuck? If there's nothing else, I figure we'll let Max get back to business. I'll just be resting here. <laughs> a little bit of time passes. You get fitted for the auto mail. The surgery begins. Everything goes through swimmingly. Uh, you get fitted with steel leg uh, auto mail. That actually works fine. Uh, you also know it will take roughly a year for you to get used to them. A long time. I hope we survive a year. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, in the meantime, in your early stages, you will be required to use crutches to move around naturally. Uh, or a wheelchair, if you so choose. Max. Wheelchair sound cooler. Yeah. Okay. If you wish, we can. I would gladly be able to put a harness together if you wish to just... I could have you ride on my back. <laughs> nah, that's fine. Just allow for easier mobility. Now, I'll, I'll try and get used to this wheelchair. Like a wee old baby. <laughs> He's a man, let him roll himself out like a man. He took every bit of what happened to him like a man. He should be treated like one. I, no I jokes on his behalf, you. please. I'm glaring over at Elijah. I was simply asking out of kindness, not trying to belittle him. Hmm. Noted. I appreciate the gesture. <clears throat> of course. Then more time passes, and you all leave the hospital and make your way to the train to Central. They did discover rocketry around this time, didn't they? <laughs> Who's taking control of the In FMA, I feel like we're still a bit premature for that. Let me see. When did they discover a proposal? This is this is pre World War. <laughs> Hold up, please. Well, unfortunately, the the year that it states doesn't necessarily line up with the reality of our actual time. <clears throat> Because FMA supposedly takes place in what, like 1900? 
Late 1900s, late, uh, late 1910 1900s. or some shit like that. <clears throat> A real early 1900s, late uh, 1800s. Yeah, at that point, we didn't have auto-loading guns. Yeah. Because... Well, there were actually, there was some. There was some machine guns. The, yeah, the and, Maxims and, were like... The heavy machine guns, the Maxims were like 1905. The 1911 didn't come out until 1911. And things like submachine guns <clears throat> didn't start till the late 19-teens, early 1920s. So it's... I'd say it's probably closer to like 1930s, 1940s era technology. I can see it was a prototype. <laughs> Someone was researching this, surely. Yes, oh, definitely a possibility. <laughs> it's a possibility. The, the modern version is 1928, so yeah, it's still a good 30 years away. Yep, so that's about right. I always forget to grab a motherfucking vest. <laughs> hey, you got time once you get back to Central. Yeah, once I get back to Central. Yay. <clears throat> Damn it. So, everyone, there's something we should talk about while we're here. That is... Obviously, yes. we still have two more to deal with. However, we have not mm -hmm. been able to catch wind of any of their movements recently. It is possible they've gone back into hiding. So as far as this mission that I brought you all on to do is concerned, mission accomplished. It doesn't feel that way. <clears throat> Except the victory that we have. We took down two of them. Well, one of them took himself out, but... We'll take credit for both. Of course. We did lose one and a half people. Indeed we did. But when it comes to the traitor of the military, can you really put a number on the value of that? We would have no, used his father anyways, normally. Exactly. Ivan served his purpose. All right. Any other questions about the mission, then? No. It will forever haunt you, Tony. <laughs> I need a report. I would like to buy a uh, spirit box so I can um, tell to tell uh, Ivan to go fuck himself one more time, and then <laughs> I'm going to box. GG. Yes. Just walk up to his casket right at the funeral. Go fuck yourself. <laughs> it's just right in front of me. exactly what's gonna happen. <laughs> yeah, right after you give the auto male arm to his parents, you're gonna look at the casket and go "fuck you" and walk away. <laughs> God, that is such like, a... I'm gonna turn back to him. That's just how we talk. There's just a friend thing. Don't worry about it. That is such a Tony thing to do. Why is everything a Tony thing? Because it's the most Tony... asshole thing to do. Because Tony in this situation is literally the worst of us. I, I killed my dog. I'd Fuck, argue bro. I took down the last enemy, but I won't claim it in public. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck you. GG. <laughs> a traitor. In, you know, some ways. Not a traitor. A little bit. Nah. Right click the me. button again? The trigger for what it? Button? Elijah. Is Elijah? That's what I thought. 100%. Oh, man. All I did was alchemy. <laughs> he threatened to kill me once, you know? He put a gun. He Well, he didn't put a gun on my thought. I thought that he did for a second. But, um, no. He, me? uh, he threatened me. No, not you. I, oh. uh, he threatened me whenever we were, uh, confronting Laura. And then I pressed the button that killed him. It's a little fucked up, but, you know, I suppose it is what it is. Was he trying to spare her life? Was that what Ivan wanted? Who's her? 
Laura. Oh, no, 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 he wanted to kill her. So then why would he threaten you in that situation? I told him to rouse caution, and he uh, said that we should just knock me out. Remember? We were with the uh, the Flame Alchemist, the previous Flame Alchemist. Rest in peace. The Ignition Alchemist. Yes. I see, I see. Of course, I do not harbor any sort of anger towards him. I, I do not take that personally. I'll roll a deception <laughs> check if you want me to do that. That's yeah, not going to. Okay, okay. But, you know. It's still a shame. I don't like to see any loss of life, and that was gruesome. Yeah, truly a shame. Anyways. Anyway. And y'all continue on the train until you arrive in Central. All right, everyone, remember, report here to the uh, to the graveyard. Two days at 10 a.m. Well, question, uh, who's, y y will you be delivering the report? Or are we required to uh, submit anything? Uh, you're welcome to deliver a report of your own if you wish. Otherwise, I will be delivering it. Oh no, thank you. Please. <laughs> if you would, if you wouldn't mind writing one for us, I wouldn't mind that. Yeah, don't worry, I'll I take care of you it all. as our superior officer. I I'll be taking care of it all. Don't you worry. <clears throat> thank you, sir. Thank you, Kimberly. Mm -hmm. Appreciate all your help up through all this. Enjoy your time back home. Get back to your studies or your personal work. I'm eyeing Tony as he's suddenly become friendly with Kimberly. <laughs> Go for it. Elijah called Kimberly sir. Nah, you're wishy-washy. I've come to expect that. <laughs> <laughs> it's either I will respect all my superior officers no matter what, or fuck everybody who's not me or the Fuhrer. Yeah. <laughs> on the day I can't argue <laughs> so if you have any business you need to take care of in Central now's the time over the span of the, the day or over the span of the next two days two days I might do a little shopping actually yeah feel free to Elijah it's been a while I feel like we need to catch up can I treat you to a meal? Sounds good. Um, I need to stop by the uh, the almost well the I guess it would be the munition store to grab a vest. But other than that, yes, I will definitely let you buy me food. All right. Would you like some? Would you like a vest or something? What does the vest do? Um, it's a plus three to armor. Is that your AC? And because you have such a low dex, you could buy bigger armor, and I will. I mean, you have the money for it. Look at armors. And this is in the book. Why have I never looked yeah. at that? Get a the biggest armor vest. gives you a plus nine to AC, dude. Mm -hmm. But a minus five to your movement yeah. speed. 15. Or minus fifteen. Yeah, a, That's what I meant to say. Yeah. Ooh, I, I like being fast as fuck. You've fast got mobile fuck, though, so it, it would still only be twenty-five. It's still yeah, really good. I, I like being compared to the fifteen. 40. You got a leather jacket plus one, leather armor plus two, concealable vest plus three, chain mail plus four, tactical vest plus four, heavy vest plus six, plate mail plus nine. Um, but with the ever decreasing maximum dexterity you're allowed to have, and then an ever increasing speed penalty. I'll look at it and I'll make a decision. All I right, I'm at something. You're looking for uh, what was it, Elijah? I'm a. I need a vest. I'm a dex character. Tactical vest? Yes, sir. Or heavy vest? Uh, the, which one's the plus three? Uh, oh, concealable vest. Yes. That'd be the plus three. That's a 250. I will spend that. Here you are, sir, and thank you. Of course. Uh, he can take a 50 tip. Oh, thank you very much. Of course. 
Anything else I can get you? Uh, I'm not sure. Yeah, you need a a map. I looked over to uh, I look over to Tony. Mm. He sees just there, cold, expressionless, looking into the void. Tony, I mean, that's all you can Sorry, see in your head. We we just got back now. from a mission where a little bit bottle scarred. He's he's a little fucked up in the head. We just saw one of our friends die. I'm sorry. Um, I'm sorry to hear that. Yes, don't worry about. It. Uh, Either way, uh, he, he's going to want some armor, too. Would you uh, be willing to throw in a couple more uh, grenades and uh, do a little bit of a bundle deal? Uh, sorry, the government prices, everything is as priced. He shrugs. I can do that. That's fine. Uh, two frag grenades me... is 300. Two frag grenades is 300. Uh, give me 10. All right, that'll be 1,500. Thank you. Anything else for you or your friend who's just staring into the void? Um, the, nope. yes. You don't want armor? Where, where is the... I can't find it. Oh, there it is. In equipment, under melee, uh, below melee. I'll take a concealable. All right, 250. Done. There you are. Anything else I can get you, gentlemen? Oh, no, thank you. Oh, my AC is the highest it's ever been. All right, have a good day. What is it? <laughs> Fifteen. Woohoo! Someone might Chilling actually miss Twenty-four. Me, yeah. All right. Any shopping you're doing, Elsawa? Uh... <sighs> Given the time frames, is there? Anything that actually, I'm actually trying to see if there is. I've literally looked through all of the equipment and I'm just like, there's really not much there I feel like I'm gonna need. Um, sorry, I was just saving my character sheet. The first time I have to save it, it takes for friggin' ever. Got gas grenades, smoke grenades, landmines, dynamite, flamethrowers, kunai. With chain. Actually, yeah. Kunai I do with wanna, chain. I do actually want to buy three more kunai. Alright, here you are. That's going to cost you 30. And what else? Um. I've got revolver ammo I'm going to sell. Uh, all right. I'll take a look at it here. Got 18 rounds. All right. That will... I will be able to give you 45 for that. All right. So I'll do that. There you are. Um, I'm going to buy a light machine gun. All righty. Light machine gun or uh Yeah. I don't know I don't know where my mind was going at. Yes. That will be two hundred and fifty. I guess because it was debating whether I'd get a light machine gun or go with the minigun. So two hundred fifty for that for that. We'll not have any ammo uh, pre packed, but one hundred and fifty a clip. Or do I want to just go for the minigun? Just go for the minigun. I mean, the You're money's not in it. I also laugh because if it was a minigun, if you think about miniguns, you would pull the trigger and that entire thing would be gone. <laughs> I'm sorry, me being a gun nut, that screws with me too much. Well, yeah, well, the, the clip for I that know. one is just a turn's worth of ammo, essentially. So it fires ten shots in that and that shot and that four ten rounds does forty twelve? Yes. Okay, so it's not forty twelve per round. So it wouldn't be forty D twelve to just dump it. 
Right. It'd just be the 4D12, plus whatever else you might have. Now, what about, like, the light machine gun? That's, like, is that a single shot, like, when you fire it, or how? Or... Uh, that one, that's essentially 10 uses. I, I, I realize the confusion there. So the minigun, that's one use, uh, does the 4D12. It's essentially shooting, like, roughly 10 shots with that one use. Um, but with the bandolier setup, you don't have to keep reloading it every turn, things like that. So basically, every time you pull the trigger on, it's going to be 350. Versus uh, the yeah. LMG. The LMG is 150 for a clip, and that gives you 10 shots. Yes. Hmm. I'm going to go with the LMG. It just feels right. Okay. And I'll take yeah, 10 clips. All righty. So in total, that's going to come to uh, seventeen fifty. Okay, so I got an LMG, and then I have one hundred rounds. Uh, uh, uh. So my kunai were how much before? Thirty. Okay, and then I got 45, so that was fifth minus 15. And then now I owe... How much again? 17.50? Yep. Is there anything else I want to grab while I'm in here? Because, like, weapon-wise, I'm good. Map? I don't... I've already, gear? Got a map. I've already got a map of central. Large tent. Uh, got a map of everything. Portable stove. I've already got 50 foot of rope also. And a sleeping bag. Handcuffs. I'm an alchemist. Why do I need handcuffs? Uh, bedroom. I mean, you're not wrong, but my character's never actually shown interest in anybody yet. That's completely fine. Dead in the heroes or dead yeah. bodies. Dead actually, in the even... heroes campaign, one of my characters is asexual. Game boy. I mean, <laughs> I mean, I did dissect a dead female, and I specified that nothing weird happened. <laughs> I also want to put that as the limits of uh, being sexual or sexually active or things like that. And I've already got a heavy vest. I'm not really looking to get go to plate mail. And I've already got all the clothing I really need. So yeah, that'll be it. Um, I'm just going to give the guy 2,000 cents just to kind of make it easier. All right. Well, thank you very much for the tip. And I want to ask him. Uh, I do have a question for you. Uh huh. So I know that I imagine you guys don't really deal anything with auto mail, but in terms of suppliers for stuff, obviously auto mail can be made out of things like wood, iron, steel, or carbon fiber. Do you know what places supply those raw materials? or places that can supply them. I'm afraid I wouldn't know any specifics about that. Everything we get is uh, issued to us directly from uh, Central Headquarters. No problem. I just figured I would ask if you guys knew anything. And you can look into Rush Valley, see where they get their stuff. That'd probably be the, uh, probably be the greatest supply. Alright, I'll have to get a hold of somebody there. And, uh, find out. And, yeah, that'll be about, that'll be it. Alright. Anything from you, Max? Um, I mean, I'll, I'll just do some research. That'll probably be the best thing to go. 
<clears throat> All right, you hobble library. on over to the library. Yeah, I want to specifically this time. I want to research like uh, like alloys. And, Roll one d twenty. I'll climb in this. Uh, this is gonna determine like if I like <laughs> like crash into something. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to wait to the library. All right, no kid comes over and kicks your crushes out from under you. Yeah, or kicks the wheelchair. Sorry, wheelchair out from under you. <laughs> Just to push you kid. off of it. <laughs> so this is what it feels like. So I'm on the ground. I'm able <laughs> to get up. All right, you go there. You start doing your research. Nothing too fancy. Arthur. You arrive in town during this time. You are greeted at the train station by Kimberly. So, you're Arthur, huh? Ah, you must be Kimberly. Heard a lot about you. I've heard a little about you. Ah, huh. well, that's shocking. You should... Well, it's nice to me finally meet you. Put a face to the, you know, the, the letters. Uh, you as well. Should see uh, some other members coming here to join for Ivan's funeral. Anyway, I'm just here to give you the instructions. I'll be there uh, during the actual event as well. Awesome. I'm gl I'm glad that he's getting the <clears throat> military service that he deserved. Indeed. I'm just, you know, making sure I look good for his funeral. No. I look very good. Dressed in all black. Very fitting. Of course, I even made sure my headband was black today. Oh, very thoughtful. I'm sure he would be very appreciative. Uh, well, I, I'm glad you. Th I'm glad you say that. Our families were really close. Auto male arm is actually well an accident because of me. He pushed me ah. up when our when our families went on vacation when we were younger. Uh, <clears throat> we were like checking out like some dig site, and like something happened, and he pushed me out of the way. And next thing I knew, Ivan's arm was gone. I've owned that. I. Uh, sorry, one sec one second. I I I'm get I need one of these. It's a hard time. Better roll play. Of course, of course. Can it? He smokes. Yes, you better pay that money on squares, boy. <laughs> yes, Arthur does smoke. That he's from. He's Arthur Crusher is the name. Nice to meet you. Pleasure to meet you as well. You should be careful. It's a terrible habit. Uh, I know. <laughs> I know. I've come from four generations of. Crusher family, and they all smoked. <laughs> well, probably didn't. We'll see him add another cigarette to his headband, like right up here. Well, I will let you get on with things. Just wanted to say hi. Well, thank you. I'm glad that I got to finally put a face to you know the letter, as I said. Um, can I ask you something, Kibley? Go ahead. Um, how was he like before, you know, his last moments? Probably hot. <laughs> I'm gonna kill you. I'm gonna fucking kill you, Tony. <laughs> You're dead. I swear to God. Some might say smoking. What was the last thing that went through his mind? His dead. ass. His Sorry, explosive God, personality I... was a bit volatile towards the end. Yeah, it sounds like Ivan. He was always so explosive at times. So I guess you could of... say he started a chain reaction. Shut the fuck up. <laughs> God damn it. That was good. <laughs> um, oh, it just, it, it seems so off. I, I can't believe Ivan really, I mean, blew himself up. I mean, he's, he's definitely an idiot at times. Like, it shocks me that he actually would commit his own life to capture it. I mean, he was a good soldier. Well, as I understand the events uh, appropriately, he intended to blow off or be willing to risk blowing off his legs to help take down the enemy. And it just so happened that the explosion that was prepared was a little bit stronger than he anticipated. Well, you guys prepared it, so... Did you prepare it, Kimberly? You didn't make oh, it. Oh, well, no. You would have known what you were doing. You were, I hear you, I've heard your uh, records you know, around. 
And I certainly know my explosives. I was not the one who prepared it. I mean, they want to call you the Crimson Alchemist. It was called the he is called the Crimson Alchemist at this point, right? Yep. They want to call you the Crimson Alchemist for nothing, I guess. Huh. Which one uh, prepared the explosives? That would be Tony. Oh, I've I've heard a little bit about Tony. I mean, <laughs> I've I heard Ivan did. Eh, he, 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 he I've heard him. He's a he's a tough little cookie to try to crack. But I haven't oh. tried, but didn't really get much, so he just you know stopped. Sorry, guys, Connor, sorry. Well, feel free to find Tony or wait until the funeral where you can ask him some questions about it yourself if you wish. I have to. I just, I have to. Just to, just to check with Tony. I don't think one of his old teammates would do that to him. But, that would... Nope. It would truly be a... I would be at a loss for words if that was the case. I would be too, because I would hate to know that his own teammate would rig his own... <clears throat> his own... uh. I mean his own trap, but like, I know I know Ivan. He wouldn't do anything that he knows that would immediately kill him. An action like so that he... would make the team implode. God damn it! The puns, <laughs> the puns. <laughs> uh, I can't believe. Um, well, all right, then. I got. Here. What time would you? Say? Is it still like? <laughs> it's still like time that I can. Uh, Arthur can stop at a store by chance. Oh yeah. Okay. I just want to stop at. I just want to grab. I just need to go grab uh, some supplies and okay. weapons. We'll get to that here in just a moment. Elijah and Tony. Uh, Kimberly says, "All right, we'll see. Uh, see you at the funeral." Of course. I'll see you there, Kimberly. Uh, Elijah and Tony, are you two staying together now that you've done your shopping, or are you separating? Uh, I'm gonna go and get food. We're gonna go get food. Yeah. Right. Okay. So you're doing that together. All right. Uh, roll a one d eight, everybody, except for Elijah. Tony's rolling for you. Well, fine. Well, you two are together, so it's going to happen to both of you. See how it is. I see how it is. I remember that. You rolled a one. Damn you, Tony. <laughs> All right. We're going to get mugged. It's your fault. Good. I don't have any spare change, sir. <laughs> All right. So that's you. No dupes this time, for once. Yeah, it's rare. Very rare. Alright, Elsawa, you are going to get this one. We're going to go with you as your first in turn order. You are walking down the street, finishing up your shopping business, you know, just prepping everything, when all of a sudden you feel as though there's like a pat on one of your pockets. I would immediately reach my hand down toward and around it. You don't feel any hand or anything like that. There's no one who's uh, like trying to pickpocket you or do anything there. But you feel there's a piece of paper in your pocket that wasn't there before. I'm going to pull out the piece of paper. I'm going to look around to see if there's anybody around me. Roll perception check. Perception is it's okay. Nice. You don't see anyone. Okay. I'm going to read the paper. You open it up. This is actually even better, though. It's for you. You open it up, and it reads, We'll see you in Ishval. Hmm. Is there anything else on the paper? Nothing else. Anything unique about the writing or the paper? No. Standard. The folds are pretty neat that, you know, fold it up and put it in your pocket. I'm going to tuck this note in my pocket. I'm going to make a mental note to see if I can go find, uh, 
I forget what his rank was. I think it was Captain Miles. About possibly going and speaking with Captain Miles after the funeral. Or maybe seeing him at the funeral. Okay. Uh, Tony, you are up next. You two rolled that one. Alright. You two are walking down the street. Making your way towards a food establishment of which you know, seems reputable and high quality. Mm-hmm. You see a soldier walks up to you. He goes, oh, hey, excuse me. Mind if I talk to you two real quick? Sure, what's going on? I Go ahead. just wanted to hear if it's true. You took out the traitors? We took out two of them. Two of them? I heard you took all of them out. That there were no more. Took out the last is that one. The ru- is that the rumor? You recall this is what Kimberly said he was going to be telling people. Or that was going to be told to people. Oh. They got away yeah. for a little while, but then uh, between yeah. me and you, uh, they didn't get very far. I pat the slipper right below my back. You mean make a Steve check? Yes. Okay. Thank God it's roll a sense motive. <laughs> Go ahead. That's a good roll. That's a really good roll. Yeah. Really is a good roll, isn't it? Plus 18? This yeah. guy's cracked. Yeah. He kind of looks at you. <laughs> okay. Well, Hi, I just wanted Andy. to make sure that that was the... I just wanted to make sure that that was the... That what I was hearing was true. Congratulations, you two. Thank you. Of course. What huh. have you done for the military lately? Oh, I'm just holding my outpost here. Private Jenkins. Leroy? Jenkins. No, no, Mick. <laughs> oh, are you Leroy's boy? No. <laughs> Commander Leroy was a great alchemist. My father knew him. Well, I'll let you two back, uh, or get back to what you were, uh, what you were doing. No, uh, I, think, I think we should talk to you do. Um, well, well, if you want. What are you doing? How is uh, life and chance still cheating you? Oh, it's going fine. Nothing to complain about. Can I do a sense motive on it? Sure. Okay. We'll have them roll the safe check. Uh... <laughs> 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 You're you're close enough that if you want, you could be slightly suspicious, but you, th- there's no indicator in their words of a bluff or a lie or anything like that. I'm really good at this. They are really good at this, so this is fair. All right. <laughs> I've never known a soldier to be just content, though. Usually there's something you got to complain about. Oh, I mean, there's plenty I could complain about. Budget cuts, always having to deal with the rebel uprisers, any... Infidels in town. Infidels, not the right word. Any uh, rebe- uh rebellion Fidels. in town? Another <laughs> sense motive check. That's just me misspeaking. That's just me misspeaking. I did it again. <laughs> unfortunately, it unfortunately, that was me misspeaking. That was metagame misspeak. Oh man. <laughs> uh, but you know, I just figure it's not worth my time to complain about that. We have our jobs to do, and we do them well. To be ungrateful it would be to, it'd be a, a slap in the military's face, and by extension, a slap to the fear's face. And we don't want to make the fear unhappy, do we? Uh, absolutely, no, of course not. <laughs> of course not. <laughs> it'd be a bad idea. He's a good man, but he's also just in his own way. Exactly. He's stressed. He's got a lot going on. Exactly. Mm-hmm. But he is a good man. Indeed. Well, are you still looking to talk to me, or shall I get going now? He'll, uh, he'll give him another look over. Give a shrug. He's going to pass a little flask. Don't tell him I, don't tell him I gave you anything. Uh, he's, uh, just I'm going to turn down the flask, if you don't mind. Are you sure? I'm sure. I try not to drink. A god that turns that alcohol. Now, I'm not a guard, shit. I'm a private. Eh, same thing. You'll learn. 
Well, thank you for your time. Of course. It's nice meeting you. You as well. And he walks off. Wow, we're assholes. And this guy knows it. <laughs> <laughs> I don't hide it. <laughs> I do really good, but he apparently knows. All right, so the next one is Arthur. Oh, this is kind of fitting for you. Arthur, you're walking down the street. Or are you still busy, actually? Here in the Crackheads fight. I'm going to take that as a yes. Okay. Max, you're walking down the street. Uh, bu -bu 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 -bu. You see two kids running at you, Max. Holding a basket between them. Like, with their eyes open, I hope? Eyes open. <laughs> eyes looking at you. I'll just wave at them. They keep on. running with the basket. As they get to you, kind of panting, they hold the basket up to you. You can see the contents are covered by a piece of cloth. Uh, what's this? And they just kind of smile and just like gesture it more towards you. Uh, you want me to open it? <laughs> All right, well, let's uh, let's see what we got here. It's Ivan's head. <laughs> oh yeah, <laughs> where uh, where'd you get this? <laughs> right, you got to open it. Yeah, yeah. Pull the cloth off. You pull the cloth off, and you see a variety of breads and small cakes. And they say in unison, "Thank you for saving us from the traitors." Oh well, uh, what a kind gesture. I'll, I'll take uh, I'll take some. Uh, they've handed you the entire basket. Oh, sweet. Well, thanks, kids. Didn't and they just kind of they smile, bow, and run away. Yeah, no plus ten to everything. <laughs> no, these are no special <laughs> special foods. They don't give you bonuses. This is just a kind gesture. Plus, uh, plus ten inspiration. There you go. <laughs> you feel inspired. Just not D and D five E inspired. <laughs> <laughs> How to get that in there? Yep. Yeah. All right, Arthur, you ready? <laughs> okay. You are walking down the street. Kind of, you know, looking around, getting to know Central. When you walk by a military building with a very simple Jeep-like vehicle made by the Land Cruisers, there's two soldiers in it. You see they go to turn it on, and suddenly the engine ignites, and black smoke just begins to plume out of it. Oh, wow. One of Eli whispers under his breath, shitty cause. <laughs> <laughs> oh, wow. <laughs> I don't know if you want the newest Land Cruisers, like models or something. I gotta go ask about this. I'm gonna approach the vehicle. You see, they're getting out. Just like one of them kicks the vehicle. It's like, that damn thing. Hey, what is this? One of the newest models of the, what the uh, what the Land Cruiser families are making? It's not one of the newer. It's not newest, but it's on the newer side. We just got issued it, and damn thing doesn't work right. Oh, what's going on with it? It's just not working. I tried to turn it on and it just exploded. Huh. I went, um, can I take a look? If you think you know what you're doing. Shoot, I don't think we well, know what we're doing here. What do I gotta, what do you want me to roll? Uh, you can either try to repair it with a repair check or use alchemy on it. You know, why not? Let's do my, let's do the alchemy. I'm gonna try to use some alchemy on it to see if I can get, if I can get this thing to work. All right. Alchemy skill check. Alchemy skill check? Okay. Oh, God, yes. Waiting for this moment for all my life. <laughs> <laughs> no, so I... right, hang on. See if I'm impressed. It's going to be like a plus 12. How? Yep, that'll pass. How is it naturally? But how? I'll tell you, Elijah made the sheet for him, so. Well, then that makes more sense, but how? I got bored. We're level wow. 15. 
AKA he mid -max. All right, I was, I'm like... Well, he I have said, 20. the only thing he told me about his character, other than the fact that he wanted to do certain weapons, was that he wanted to be good at alchemy. So I gave him what he wanted. That's... Now Tony doesn't feel special, though. Now he hates cool. Arthur without even having met him. Yeah, this guy's no. better than you. Well, does he have a specialized one? Because if not, I'm still higher. That's not with the but... specialization. That's without specialization. That's base. I'm honestly curious how. Because I he doesn't have very many that. skills. I'm not gonna lie, he doesn't have very many skills. Oh, <laughs> yeah. And he's That's also a, he's also in a he's, he's a fucking a mystery, and he has out you know the alchemic training, yada yada blah blah. He's got a lot of shit. All right, I can see it. Mm -hmm. so he's pure spec for alchemy and alchemy. Yeah, he's alchemy. He is alchemy, and that's it. But does he have AC? Because if so, he's pathetic. He's got a lot of AC. Ah, pathetic. Oh, How much does he? Elijah, does he have more AC than me? He has more AC than me. I don't know how much AC you have. How much Sorry. AC do you have, Elijah? Twenty-four. Oh, I have. No way. No way. He has the same AC as me because he has a twenty-five. Oh my god, yeah, I have you both beat. Are you guys still talking about my character? Yep. Sorry, it got physical over there. Sorry, so sorry, sorry, sorry. Oh, good. I apologize. Um, I apologize. Thoughtful of you to intervene. Yeah, I, um, I have your AC, not counting mm. my armor. Thank you, All bitch. right. Uh, so you repaired the vehicle, Arthur. You see, they're both kind of looking at it. All right, well, let's see if it works. Gives to stick the. Oh god, I have a light going through? Where you the hate fuck me is that, that from? Fuck you, Tony. What the fuck is <laughs> The sun just hit, like, just the perfect angle. <laughs> oh, it's hitting you. Yeah. <laughs> like... That's beautiful. Oh god, what do I do? Oh, like, I, what did I do to fix angle. that in the past? <laughs> like, so you could try and turn the camera uh, at, do, a, at an angle. Let's take two minute intermission while Connor fixes the camera, and I gotta pee. Yeah, feel free to pay. If you angle it to... I, I almost guess, don't yeah. want to leave because I, I was hearing stuff from Arthur's side and I'm just like, ooh, crackheads. <laughs> ooh, crackheads? <laughs> That's not something that I say very often, but I mean... <laughs> <laughs> I don't think man. Don't have crackheads because they're afraid to do anything. We got methods. Getting fear of getting shot. GG. So. We got tweakers, anything from meth to heroin. Crack isn't really that popular around here. Sorry, guys. I didn't mean to like stop the fucking. You're fine. Uh, you get... We stop anyways, dude. We only we only took 20 minutes this time instead of the whole half hour. <laughs> so. We've got extra time. Well, apparently, fucking uh, one shot the other, one punch the other in the face. So... Oh yeah, repping. By the way, you know. <laughs> yeah, actually, like was Connor trying to like get that glare to stop. Yeah. Damn. <laughs> Okay, so but Zach, are you worried about my? Zach, are you worried you're gonna die? It's no. right there. One skill check from. doesn't scare me. He's literally only good at one thing. I'm not gonna lie to you. <laughs> other than that, every other stat that he has is below 16. I'll tell you that. I mean, little bitch. Pretty you close fucker. to me too. Well, yeah. Well, yeah. I can tell you. I specifically put extra points into animal handling because I absolutely wanted your dog to betray you and I wanted to be its new owner. But then you killed the dog, so it ruined that. He foresaw that. He was Man. a seer. He was like, I can't let this happen. <laughs> That's the real reason. Just killed the dog. <laughs> you we should buy Tony a dog. <laughs> no. You'll kill the dog, won't you? <laughs> no. I debated both. You psychopath. It's okay, okay we're psychopaths not... together. Okay, I have returned, so that's a variable out of the equation. Okay, yeah, I'm ready. I, I know how to cool. fix this for next time. In the meantime, I'm just going to be a heavenly figure. I think they killed each other, so it's alright. <laughs> so uh, by next like session, I should have this faxed. Faxed? Faxed. Uh, anyway, they turn on the vehicle, Arthur, and you see it starts up. They go, hey, thanks, kid. Yeah, he took his headset off right as I said that. They're not dead. Right? 
They say thank you, Arthur, for your assistance. Of course, I'm glad I could uh, help make that work. Uh, I uh, the Land Cruiser's son is was a good friend of mine back in the day, so anything to help the Land Cruiser family. I hear he passed away. Yeah, me too. That's why I'm in town, actually. You know, this is going down as a war hero. I can't. I'm glad to hear that. If anything, he is a hero. Well, good luck. Sorry for your loss. And thanks again. Of course. Thank you. Uh, do you guys... Uh, you know what? I told you, I was trying to do something on the whim, but I can't... You know what? <laughs> I was just going to sm- make small talk with them and see... Uh, you know what? No, I'm good. Thanks, guys. I'm glad I could help you. If you guys never need assistance again, here's my card. Oh, uh, thanks. Uh, oh, minor, huh? Absolutely. From the uh, Crusher family. All right. Well, if we ever have any mining that needs to be done, we'll contact you. Oh, yeah. Please do. My father would love to have the business. Yeah. All right. See ya. All right. Oh, do you know where uh, I could uh, uh, find uh, some... some uh, a little bit of... Sorry. <clears throat> I don't, I don't, I don't know where you can find some. Blah, 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 blah. Do you know where I could find uh, weapons around here? I'm looking to pick up a few things. Yeah, I, store. Uh, you can go right over here. Uh, unless you're licensed uh, in the military, though, they're not going to sell you any firearms. Oh no! Shit! <laughs> Shit! Do you know where I could go if I was part of the military? Like, <laughs> do you know how I could join the military? If you're trying to get guns outside of the military, you're going to have to go to the black market, which is, strictly speaking, illegal. Mm. Not even strictly speaking. It's actually just illegal. You know what? You're absolutely right. And I, I'm trying to set a good example here for Ivan for Ivan's death, so I'm going to just head on to that funeral. Uh. Oh. Excuse me. All right. Good. Anyone else doing anything right now? Light my cigarette. Goodbye, good gentlemen. All right. Time passes until the funeral approaches. <sighs> oh my god. <laughs> Fucking love you, Connor. You see his giant stretched face here is like the picture they ha- like a picture they have up behind it to honor him. Oh my goodness, man. <laughs> Oh, what's this? Oh, dang, I can't do it. <laughs> I really... Oh, here, let me move Arthur out of the group. <laughs> it's man. <laughs> <laughs> so you all arrive at the funeral. You see a number of soldiers, familiar faces, and unfamiliar faces. <laughs> Damn Why are faming? Why are you all defaming him? Damn, well, who's tears. trying to frame me? Not defaming, uh, what's it? Vandalizing him. Defacing. Defacing, that's what I was looking for. Like a literal if I could draw or faster, def- I'd totally do something or stupid. Or but... defamation. <laughs> so you all are here at the funeral, dressed in black, your own funeral outfits, things like that. Kimberly walks up to the front first. Ivan was a truly singular individual. He was not afraid to just to show just who he was, and he exemplified everything a good soldier is. He was decisive, brave, followed orders, and was unafraid to sacrifice himself for the betterment of this country. Which in the end he did. His sacrifice was invaluable and allowed the elimination of the final traitor alchemist. All as a private in the military, too. (laughs) However, you will not remember him as that man. In honor of his bravery, he has been promoted to sergeant. Damn it. The fucking son of a bitch. (laughs) Without me. 
<laughs> you'll see Tony's like, what the fuck? <laughs> so I can't even. He turns back to face the casket. That's what's behind it, by the way. There's a casket and then a hole in the ground, the, the grave that's from pre-dug. Places his hand upon it. Thank you for your sacrifice, Ivan. He walks off. If anyone else would like to give any words, please do so. I will. Oh, okay. Uh, you Go ahead, Elijah. Okay. Do you want me? Do you want to go first? Oh, uh, I, no, I, no. I, by I, all means, go first. So step forward, put a hand on the casket, look down. You're friendly. He was not a perfect man. He never claimed to be. However, he was a brave soldier, and I don't believe that I would rather have any other man at my back with a gun. I trusted him. With my life, my men trusted him with their lives, and he fought with us many times. May he rest in peace. And he just backs up. Can I say something? Just please note that uh, <clears throat> Mr. and Mrs. Lancruiser are over to your left. <laughs> Can you bring me to the front, please, so I'm not... You mute it, maybe. Are you standing in the grave? Oh, I'm on the podium. <laughs> That's not a podium. There is no podium. That's the casket. Yeah. He's <laughs> standing on the casket. <laughs> just zips, unzips his pants and just starts peeing on. <laughs> I'd like to say a few words, please. <laughs> Ivan. Ivan was a great soldier. He, without question devoted his entire life to the military. <clears throat> so much so, he even adopted a dog. Unfortunately, the dog also died in battle. He'll be missed. He was a good dog. Rest in peace, Ivan. Thank you for everything you did. Kimberly again has a soft smile as you're speaking. So does motherfucking uh, Eli. What, what the? <laughs> Eli doesn't know the actual truth. Nope. He just. I agree. Totally. <laughs> Max, I hope, saying I hope the dog rests in peace. Jeez. Yes. The dog will rest peace in peace. at least. A couple. The dog will rest in peace. Fuck you. I can't wait till this computer turns back on. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Max, are you you saying anything? No, I'll, I'll mourn in silence. All right. I'm going to step up. Looking at the image, I'm going to turn around to face everybody. <sighs> Ivan was the newest member of our team. And a little bit different than the rest of us, being that he was the only one that wasn't an alchemist. I know, at least within some circles, the alchemists seem to look down on the other soldiers. Not here. When it came to capabilities on the battlefield, Ivan could keep up with the rest of us. He had options we didn't. Ivan was dedicated to the military and to making a good name for himself. He made the decisions a soldier did and would. And I can say that he's made the military and the Land Cruiser name as I look over toward his parents. He's made them proud. proud. And I'm happy to have called him a friend and a comrade. And I'm glad, not in the way he's left a legacy, but the legacy that he will leave. I'm right. <laughs> Bow and salute. Return back to the group.
Mr. Lamp Cruiser is going to go up front. I, I don't have too much to say that hasn't been said already. But I'm proud of you, son. And I'm happy to see you've made such good comrades here in the military. He gestures to you, Elijah, Tony, Elsawa, and Kimberly. Elijah smiles. Thank you all. <laughs> he started blasting. <laughs> <It's> like, <laughs> Ivan gets more. Ivan gets told that he. God, Ivan gets more respect from his father than I get from my own. <laughs> Maybe if he did something worth respecting. Oh, go and gonna... die for your country, Dan, and I'm sure you'll get the respect. Gee, gee. Oh my goodness. <laughs> oh. What the fuck? I mean, given the way this country's going, that might happen sooner than later. <laughs> I mean, anyway. <laughs> we don't talk about politics here at HG. Yeah, We're never. We've fun. never talked about politics at all. Oh, I'm not talking about politics. <laughs> <laughs> A couple things, please. Everything oh, is politics. I'm, I'm probably <laughs> just gonna, I'm gonna get I'm gonna probably get stabbed in the Walmart parking lot for a bag of beef jerky. That's Lord, what I'm yeah, talking Chrissy. about. Is that gonna be the good or bad ending? <laughs> what flavor beef jerky? <laughs> Maple bacon. Nah, I'm straight. <laughs> it's good. Be worth it. Oh fuck you, Elijah. <laughs> oh. If you want beef jerky that, ha that feels like chewing on shoe leather, you go right ahead. <laughs> but has it taste? It tastes <laughs> fucking amazing. <laughs> I don't like sweet things with uh, my savory food. I don't have a sweet tooth. Either way, eh it's not overly sweet. We shall. We, we, we shall. Check. Continue. You dead, Arthur? Or computer just like drop or something? Arthur, Arthur, we need Here. you to hold a sword. Are you gonna say any any words? Last words for oh, Ivan? Yeah. Yep. <clears throat> I come up as uh, I thank everyone for coming to this. I owed Ivan a big debt, and became friends throughout the years. Our families were very close, and. I just, I, I wanted to make sure to come and pay respects to my dear friend. He was always out. No matter what, he'd give the fuck you, Tony. What the fuck? <laughs> um, <laughs> there's a reason. Anyway, um, <clears throat> I thank you all for coming. Ivan was the kind of person that would give the, his own shirt off his back for you. If, he is also the kind that would shoot. shoot his own dog if it got captured by the enemy. Remember him writing that letter to me. I thought, what the fuck, Ivan? But it's Ivan. Can the whole audience be like, what the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> he did some crazy things, that guy. Man. I remember one time, you know, I won't even bring up that story. Thank you all for coming for Ivan, though. And I'm glad to see that he made such good friends. Almost uh, lost it. Look, <laughs> like, you know what? Like, I'll open it up. <laughs> I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna like lean over to Elijah. So, like, I know you two were closer. <laughs> Did he ever mention this kid? Ever? I don't know who the fuck that is. I thought you knew. Uh huh. Oh. Some, some some good friend yeah seems great <laughs> you're a dick the other soldiers come along and they begin to lower the casket into the grave not using alchemy no they're doing it by hand mm, old school I like it what did it wanted old school I wouldn't have wanted alchemy then they I'll lower it right. in there. No. Oh, you will not. It is tradition for them to do this themselves that way, by hand. You can't just use alchemy for everything. 
Well, no, Tony, no, no, no. I want to be touch. one of the hands. No, don't they touch help if they let me. They, they are no. still taking care of this on their own. <laughs> <laughs> None of you are fucking touching my casket. Fuck out of here. They I bury it. it. You see, they all pull out their rifles, pointing into the air, pull the trigger. Oh, oh salute! Random shopkeeper dies. That now work. It's blanks. A whole oh, fucking yeah, vulture good. just falls down and crushes Arthur. Oh, so they're like me? Okay. Yeah. And uh, and Arthur. Yeah. And then they walk off, allowing everyone to mourn. I don't move from that spot. So All right, guys, you want to go get a drink? Uh, you see, before any of that happens, you see the fear goes up to the land cruisers. You can overhear the conversation a little bit. It says, I'd like to thank you both for your son's sacrifice, for raising such a strong young man to be such a fine soldier. And they go, thank you, thank you, thank you. Shakes hands. Then he goes to walk off towards you all. So, everyone... I hear all the traitors have been taken care of. He gives us a loop. Nods his head. By the way, Max, when this is all done, if you wouldn't mind uh, meeting me at my house. Good thing. <laughs> He's <laughs> like, no. <laughs> Thank you. I'm sorry. <laughs> and he goes and walks off. Oh, there goes another business partner. I'm gonna roll myself on out of town. It's, see really, it's been a little while. You see, Kimberly, Mustang, and Hughes all arrive. Or all surround around you. Oh, damn. They came to my funeral, too? It's Shit. a shame to see a classmate taking care or uh, life come to an end so quickly. Oh, you had it right, taken care of. <laughs> no these words. Yeah, well, I'm really completely honest with you, too. Uh,. There'll be a lot more. Uh, are we in a civil war by now, or is it? Has it? Oh, there's the the war in Ishval has begun, but it's still like a relatively smaller scale. We're in war right now, and I expect that eventually that'll go up, as all wars do before they eventually die. Yeah, so. well, that's certain. Be prepared to see a lot of caskets, my friends, and try to not be one of them. Still, you gotta admit, it's different when it's your friend inside there. Not really. <laughs> they it's both just kind of look at you with, like, a surprised look. He has a very, like, far away, sort of, like, PTSD kind of look, and he's like, at the end of the day, whenever soul leaves the body, they're all just bodies. It's very yeah. bad. Roy responds, that might be true, but we're not. We have to live with those actions, with what we see and what we do. Yeah. Detaching yourself from it. I don't I don't know if that's the solution. Not detached quite yet. I just understand that my friend tried to manipulate a soul and lost his legs. That doesn't make sense. I'm a little curious. I appreciate you not uh, <laughs> not telling everybody about that. That's uh, it's classified. Um, so that's what happens to the legs. <laughs> is it that classified? Uh, exactly how that happened is, is classified. <clears throat> is it actually classified information? <laughs> I, I, I uh, that that has not been told uh, anyone. That that's not been told by anyone that it's classified. Okay, I'm just gonna look at them. It's not classified yet, but I recommend not saying anything. So yeah. they both uh, they both look at you with that, Max. So you uh, you did it. He, he gave it a shot, even knowing I, uh, what it meant. I'd uh, rather not talk about that. <clears throat> it's fine with you, and. Uh, with all the respect, I'd prefer if uh, the rest of you keep this between us. He gives a nod. I apologize. Yeah, it's, uh, it is, you know, it's, it's not legal uh, <laughs> to, to start with. Uh, but it's frowned upon. A lot of other moral problems with it. 
So, yeah. <laughs> Just as you being a traitor was frowned upon. I'm sure you're not unused to criticism, but I will respect your choices. Well, that's uh, that's a little bit different from uh, from this. <laughs> not sure. They could be one and the same if you really think about it. Pretty sure. Traitor to human laws, I guess. Yeah. Either way, nothing to dwell on, my friend. We're alive. We need to enjoy that while we can before eventually. Well, he just looks at the coffin. Shake his head. Well, I think with that, Hughes and I will take our leave. Of course. Good seeing you again, Roy. You as well. Sorry. Been a lot of a uh, battle lately. <clears throat> Good luck, everyone. And they walk off. Of course. They're just Have like, I what the fuck? Out my friend. With you? <laughs> yes. <laughs> <laughs> I'm okay, okay, with that. I'm okay with that. I just saw a it's... man perform human transportation. <laughs> and Medigan, they're also going to talk about that. Because they're yeah, the next cool. time he encounters someone who has that, he has a bit of a different reaction. Lord have mercy. Mm-hmm. <laughs> it's like, oh, hello, this child who just performed the taboo. What the fuck did you do? <laughs> what have you done? What have you done, you little boy? <laughs> You'll learn somehow. Mm-hmm. Yep. And I'm okay with being the one that told him because fuck you, Max. I was on the Fuck it with you. The low profile. Are you trying to get the wrong, the wrong eyes and ears on? <laughs> I'm already halfway down. Who the fuck is typing like that? <laughs> that That's aggressive. Here. Oh, like, I was typing, but I oh, I'm like, you, what are you typing so aggressive for? You trying to like kill me again, hacker <laughs> man? I mean, yes. <laughs> you can try, motherfucker. Just because one skill is good does not mean you're better. I don't think you understand how this works. <laughs> oh no! Oh no! I completely understand how this works. Don't worry, Tom. <laughs> I don't said, think you do. You. Well, everyone, it's a pleasure to see you all again after so much time has passed. It looks to you specifically, Max, kind of nods his head. I'm not back. I, uh... I had Ivan undertaking a specific mission. Did any... Did he talk to any of you about that? Uh, a little bit. <laughs> yeah, yeah, you forgot about this. It what? I, I uh, <laughs> oh my god, Max! Because I don't wait. Well, I was like, hang on, I'm sorry. What? <laughs> GG. Uh, just, right. just a bit, yeah. Uh, it would may I uh, pull you away for a moment? Of course, of course. Oh. <clears throat> so perception check. What did he tell what? you? Well, uh, the gist of what he told me was. Uh, that that mission we did to break who was it i can't remember the person's name we broke out of the jail uh for uh you know who i'm applying to to agree i actually i don't know if he i don't remember if he told him it was greed or not i don't remember if he said that exactly i i, I don't think he actually knew that no, uh, I don't a very special person i'll just keep it like as vague as, <laughs> as it was kept <clears throat> well, he, he never contacted me back after that. I didn't want to reach out to him just in case, but I figured with him being dead, I might as well try and get down to the bottom of what happened. Well, uh, it was a success. But uh, we didn't hear anything back from uh, from the third party. I see. <laughs> but uh, Probably done that. You know, hopefully all went well and we're in good graces. I guess time will tell. Hopefully. All right. Thank you, Max. Indeed. Pleasure to talk to all of you. Or pleasure to see you all again. I'm going to be on my way now. Of course. Keep in touch. Goodbye. He walks on off. And I saw what you did hear that. Got it. You see two, yeah. <laughs> two familiar alchemists come up. So... 
See the Iron Blood speaks. You all gonna be okay? Yeah, yep. why wouldn't we be? I think so. Well, you've gone through some stuff, from what I've heard. War and war, really sir. been in the thick of it. Exactly. I say, so I want to make sure you're all right. You're going to be in the military. You need to expect stuff like this. Sure. It's been rough. But we need to keep our uh, eyes on the prize, right? Keep moving forward. Yes. Seems like you're all fine, then. I'll be on my way. Have a good day, sir. So, uh, I have been not exactly kept up to speed as to what's been going on. Anything you all wish to share? We lost comrade. Yeah, we <laughs> lost Ivan. But, uh, mission was a success. Uh, as much as success can be, I guess. Well, good. What do you mean you guess? We got our target. <clears throat> well, we got uh, yeah, some of the targets. <clears throat> yeah, but we can get the rest. Some? You fucking... Oh, no. oh my god. <laughs> are you lie, saying... I should just not say anything. Are you saying... That... Uh... Hmm? I love the fact that Tony <laughs> does not pay attention to anything that goes on. I thought the Fuhrer was here for some reason, and so I was like... <laughs> I'm playing fucking Skyrim right now, and I'm more aware of what's going on in the campaign than you are. That's not true. <laughs> oh, really? I don't see the Fuhrer anywhere on the screen. So, uh, would you like to tell me exactly what that means? Well, between uh, between us... You know, because we have a very close bond and we keep information between each other private. Um, not all of them are uh, are are dead. <clears throat> what? Says the, the Land Cruisers? No, I'm joking. They weren't there. <laughs> uh. I see. <laughs> Pulls out a gun. I imagine the fewer must be trying to placate the public then. Yeah, well... I guess it's fine for now. I mean, if nothing else, they would have gone at least into into hiding, so I'll bide a little bit of time. That Ez was the slipperiest man I've ever seen. Ever. Bro, he he should have been dead at least die, 20 right? times. <laughs> at <laughs> least 20. Now I fought against him once or twice in training matches. He was always quite elusive. Never seen I, like Alexander him. Louise Armstrong was not able to get a hold of him. Well, he got away from us. Barely, but did it. Well, I'll be sure to keep my eyes open for any others. Quietly. Gives it up. Thank you, Alex. Good luck to all of you. Of course. Hook me up with your sister, please. He's already gone. <laughs> oh, what the fuck? <laughs> <He's dirty sad. laughs> Actually, you know what? I'll go back. I'll bring him back here. I don't want to. I don't want to go ahead. No, no, no I just thought of something. No, 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 no. I've got another joke. another joke here. She's only up, ten years old. Jeez, the older one. Yeah. <laughs> the older one. Jeez. <laughs> <laughs> what the hell? I actually don't remember how old she'd be at this point. I'm sure I have her. <laughs> She's older than Alex, so. No, no, not her. Uh, the younger one. The youngest. Oh, the young one. Yeah, she'd be young. She'd be like oh, a God. like <laughs> like an elementary school. I uh, okay. Oh, she she's a little God. bit older. She'd be uh at this time, fifteen. Was she that old? Wait, how many years prior to? Oh, this is, I guess this is just just before the war, like escalated to. It is nine years before uh, the start of the anime. <laughs> or sorry, uh, before Ed and Al commit the taboo. Okay. 
or sorry, that's when the story begins, I realize. That's actually, so we would be in 1905, so that would be five years before they commit the taboo. So she would be like 10. <laughs> no, no, she'd be like 15. She'd still be 15? Yeah, I, mean, I was calculating that with it in my head. After war, maybe. But like, she got a couple of years. Easily. He's gonna make an arrangement. She'll also break your arms. Break your arms strong. But easily. She's still strong. Oh, yeah. I am. I've only got a 12, but it's not great. So the Land Cruisers <laughs> approach. Well, we just wanted to thank you all before we head back home. Of course. You're welcome. You're welcome anytime. Well, if you need anything. You, of course, can always send us a letter. Oh, thank you. Take care. Ivan's well. family is ours now. Because he can't be here to protect you. What we will. Fuck? I promise. Thank you. We've heard tales he a bow. of you, Elijah, and Tony, and Osawa, and Max. How? Well, military tales. Oh. I'm we are good at what we do. <laughs> yes. I've, I've, written, like... I've written to the family. This guy, Tony, he's such a bully. Can you please bring me home? <laughs> <laughs> Call me James. Easy. <laughs> 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 like, the guy got really mad because I threatened to, like, shoot him in the back of the head. So, like, um... <laughs> Tommy, I killed my I killed my dog. I need, I need a new one. <laughs> this one broke. Oh my God, where, where's my parakeet? Is my parakeet just chilling at my grave? No, it was shot on you the with the explosion, right? I shot the parakeet yeah. as we were leaving. It blew up. No, you didn't. Oh. <laughs> Did he keep the parakeet on it whenever he blew up? Yes. This dumb it was bitch. on him. I, I genuinely forgot about it, so it was never taken away and it was never brought up. So yeah, it would have been on your person. I always thought I let it go flying before I went into like shit. <laughs> I thought he meant, I thought he let it go fly, but it, it was never yeah. called out. Damn. Alright, yeah, all right. he died in the explosion. <sighs> if, if you want, I could say all of you or one of you, you find a, a small little like oh. uh T V cartoon and like nicely cooked chicken turkey dinner. Oh no, yeah. And Becca, I eat that bitch. Wow. Becca told me though. <laughs> actually, it's not two and zero you got me on. It's three and zero. You killed Jeffrey too, you bitch. Oh yeah, you just killed Jeffrey. <laughs> wow. Spoiler. I, wait, spoiler. <laughs> I mean, yes, but he can cut that out. Uh, yeah. So I don't That's even right. know if it will be a spoiler at the time this releases. So who knows? Me and Zach have killed all of your characters. Either it was Zach <laughs> by himself, or just me and or me and him. It was always us two. Never again. Wow. Sorry. You also killed his D&D, Nick. GG. <laughs> A little bit. <laughs> I'd say the, I'd say the, uh, a couple other things did that, but, you know, you know, I'll take that. <laughs> he was... I'd take it on the chin. Uh, Ambrose was the only character in all of our D&Ds that had, like, a sister, right? Yeah. Had a sister. Kinda, kinda. Or had any and sibling? Because that's the reason. That's it. the reason why you don't make a sibling for your characters. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Stop by oh, my sister, man. bro. That was good. Connor <laughs> did fuck your sister. How's that sound? How's it's that the only feel? like real meta game anime or a uh, D and D decision I've made. Where it's like, oh, you have a sister, and then I'm done. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, I saw Connor's yeah. look, and I was like, oh, I know what he's planning. Yup. Originally. <laughs> Ada was supposed to be Ambrose's mom. Think about it like that. Even better. <laughs> even better. I didn't even know there was supposed to be a dragon queen until he just made her. Yeah, I had to because like I mean, yeah. if we get it if we get to Ishval, I mean it might turn out that Elsawa has a sister. Yeah. <laughs> I, was never, I, I wasn't supposed to have Tony knows but... what he's doing. I have a new mission. GG. G fucking G, I'm done. You do that, I'll clap your mama. I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> what is this turn into? May as well shoot twice. I already did it once. So make fun now. Go ahead, Tony. You're white. My father will skin you. GG. Fucking done. He'll try. 
<laughs> I'll just he might have got the assignment to Push him over. <laughs> so the land cruisers head on off. Um, Goodbye. Bye, Mr. and Mrs. Land Cruiser. Uh, they give you a quick exchange of words, Arthur, as well. It's good to see you. I, good to see you, too. Even if it's under these Hold circumstances. Up. Who the what fuck are you? Noise? Why are you here? We don't even know you. You don't even go to this school. Who the fuck are you? <laughs> I'm, I'm one of Ivan's He doesn't friends. even go here. I've He's never, never heard spoken your name. about you. Yeah, let, let the man speak, all right? He's trying to introduce himself. No. <laughs> no. No. In Please, today's Arthur, day and Arthur, age... <laughs> Jesus Christ. I am like family to the Land Cruisers. Uh, our families are very close. You could say, like, Ivan and I are cousins. Um, can, I ask a, can I ask a question? I can't hear you. I'm talking to the <laughs> Land Cruisers. <laughs> I just thought of something. CG. <laughs> Since Arthur's technically taking the place of Ivan, Arthur's filling Ivan's hole. What you doing there, cuz? Hey, step cuz. It's good. Fucking <clears throat> done. Yep. I can react to that. That food. I'm. I blame mm -hmm. them. Sweet home Alabama. <laughs> Alabama. <laughs> 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 I didn't see that coming. Uh, the I Land can't... Cruiser Express. <laughs> it's, an Alf it's an Eiffel Tower, but incest. Oh, I thought you were going to make a running a train comment. I'm just going to use it's this. It's an Eiffel right Tower. And I was going to choke myself. So, you, you all are Eiffel talking Towers? to Arthur right now? <laughs> yes. Uh, if you can honor, cut the last two minutes out. <laughs> good, good, good morrow, gentlemen. It's nice to put faces to the name, uh, the name, ah, names, faces to the name, or the, yeah, faces to the names, God damn it. Be, uh, Elsoa. Yes. Hey, you definitely must be Tony. Why must I definitely be Tony? Because of that, right there. Ah, nice to finally meet you. Ah, you must be hey. Max. You must be Max. Hey, but totally Kimberly. ignore Tony. <laughs> Nice why, why is he here? He's a friend of Ivan's. He's a funeral. <laughs> sure. Why is he still here? Well, it looks like he wanted to introduce himself to him. Yeah. <laughs> this is public ground. He's allowed to be here. All of Ivan's friends? This rude, Max? Not all of them. Know. How are you doing? <laughs> Pretty much all of them, yes. <laughs> Pretty much all. I mean... <laughs> You must, be, you must be Elijah. It's good to meet you, sir. And I'll stick out my hand. Take yours. It's good to meet you. Oh, come here. No, I'm just kidding. Hey, can I no, shake no, his hand, too? Nope. Oh, come on. Don't scared be scared like of me. Let's, let's be friends. No, I just... <laughs> I heard interesting things about you, Tony. You weren't really the nicest to Ivan. He was a good the kid nicest to me. And that's why I, I will be as neutral as I can be, because, you know, Ivan was a dick, and I know how he can be. So I'll, I'll feel it out for myself. But it's nice to finally meet all of you. Uh, Kimberly, it's nice seeing you again. Right back at you. Anyway, so, uh, totally forgot. I had a good idea, but I totally forgot what it was, so it must have not been a good idea. Was there anything you wanted to talk to uh, anyone about, Arthur? Uh, so can you guys tell, how was, uh, how was his final moments? You know, was, it, you know, explosive. I fucking, when you know, a I, blaze of glory. <sighs> Loud. I've never been so impressed by the display. <laughs> I, mean, I can imagine. He put on the best be. show I think anybody could ever. Lord have mercy. <laughs> I was like, expecting him to, you know, here, he went out in a, like, you know, with the joyous, I don't know. 
Fuck you. I don't know. I don't if know. If I was to give it only four word. letters, it would be P E T N. Pet. I don't know what that means. I don't know what that means. <laughs> what did he pet? Now I'm glaring dead. at Kimberly. <laughs> He, does he really well, say that? I don't know. That was me, Metagame, saying that. Okay. <laughs> Sorry if that was like. I was like, I'll roll for that. Hang on, motherfucker. I'll roll to see what that is. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. Just say he was. It was. It was very interesting. I've never seen a man so bravely face an explosive to the leg like he did. Let alone ask for it to happen. Yeah, I was going to say, he literally wrote his own death. Yeah. I mean, I wouldn't say he wrote his own death. He he might have been an idiot, but I know Ivan would have never have agreed to something that would have actually killed him. He might have been injured. He, Excuse me, Arthur. It's clear you don't know shit, because the man literally asked us to strap grenades to him. So, I, I mean this in the nicest way, and I understand you're his friend. But no, he straight up asked for it. Yeah, he did. I mean, we did live with him uh, since he came to the school, which was how long ago, Kim? Three years. Yeah. Three years. He hasn't seen you in three years. Let's just say that Ivan, in the comings oh. of battle, became a little bit different than what you probably remember. Uh, did, the, did the act of war actually get a tone on him? It got on all of us. It still gets on all of us. Uh... And I told Ivan he should have been careful when he was joining. I told him he might not have the heart for it. <clears throat> it he had the heart. <clears throat> he just, nobody was expecting what we saw. <clears throat> you know, uh, fucking reaches in his little gear piece, grabs another cigarette. He had uh, the balls, but then he put them in his, in his face. Uh, <laughs> that, uh, you know, uh, uh, yikes. Well, I'm glad to know that. <laughs> Glad to know he had some good friends. We were his best friends. Of course. We were by his side every day for three years. Best friends. I, th I thank you guys, because him growing up <clears throat> after the accident with his arm, he didn't really... A lot of people didn't really come lightly to him. A lot of people, you know, bullied him. And I always had to come up and, you know, be his right arm, you know? So, what will you be doing here in a mistress? Well, right now I'm just in a mess. I was coming to pay my respects to Ivan, and honestly, just you know, come check it on some people that you know, old ties and stuff like that. Just I got nothing really planned, honestly. I've got some research I got to go do, and besides that, sticking to my studies. Well, welcome right, well, to Central City. Yeah, you too, Tony. You have a fun day. I'll buy you a drink later tonight, and we can talk. Sounds good, Elijah. Max, um, I heard you guys were roommates. We were. Would you be, I mean, I know this is might sound weird, but do you mind if I, you know, came and checked out where you lived? Of course, of course. I can Thank you, you up if you'd like. You know, <clears throat> there's an empty room there. Is it, is it empty, or is it his room? <laughs> Well, it wasn't paid for by us, I believe, because he couldn't afford it himself, so... I mean... Oh, did he owe you guys money? Oh, quite a bit. Yeah, but it's okay. Did he uh, actually? Yeah. He, like yeah. Yeah. he, he like liked his mini guns. I don't think he... He liked his mini guns. Tony, fuck you. I don't owe you shit. <laughs> did I you owe anyone that? It's like... What did he live for? What did he live for? He didn't owe me anything. <laughs> you what I'm going to say, he did if he's asking. <laughs> yes. I mean, I wonder what he owed me about a hundred thousand. I highly doubt he owed you a hundred thousand dollars, Tony. Anyone owes that kind of money, and they don't really see it a second. Someone a hundred thousand dollars. I'm sure they wouldn't live to see the next day. It's quite interesting, I mean, Tony. What do you mean? <laughs> He needed I money. I have money. He told me he'd give me money back. He's dead. He can't give it back now. Yeah, he, he owed me money, man. He owed me even more. I'm not going to lie I, to you. I mean, I want, I don't take I want it Tony to roll. I want Tony to roll deception. 
I'm gonna roll. Yeah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna counter yeah. roll him too. All right, Tony, roll deception. Uh, sense motives to people who are trying to counter him. That's Can I use my deception to try and cover for him a little bit because I interjected? Fuck you, yeah, sure. well, yeah, you can roll. What we'll go with the average of your of your rolls. All right, but but it's <laughs> setting um... the bar high for Tony. All right, it is a sixteen. That's your combined roll. Sense motive. Okay. Yeah, sense motive. I just right realized I don't have sense motive tagged. Uh, <laughs> Max, you are definitely aware that they're lying. Oh, mine's. Oh, wait, are... what the hell? Uh, you rolled a one df. You know what? One df. Uh, nice. Man, I did uh, get a few things for for uh, for Ivan. I don't recall him. Uh, Saying that he owed anyone any money. I saw what you were not aware. What are you talking yeah. about, Max? I'm saying he had money and he spent a good portion of it. He spent my money. I think that was the military's money. Uh, Arthur, you were also uh, <laughs> very questionable of what they're saying. No, Ivan's an idiot, but Ivan's family would never allow him to. He, if you owe someone a hundred thousand dollars, he would instantly go to daddy, get that, that taken me. care of. <clears throat> That's you. I, 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 I don't really feel the need. Honestly, I feel like it's a little. Why would you? Why would you say he owes you a hundred thousand dollars? A little sketched out, man. Because he out. owes me money. What do you Arthur. mean, why? You're asking, does he owe you any money? I'm answering your question. Kimberly goes to walk off. <laughs> Elijah's going to follow gonna... him. Bye! I'm, I'm speaking <laughs> up. Arthur. I saw what you believed I... it. Suck my nut. I saw that roll. <laughs> uh, it doesn't mean he believed it as much as he has no reason to doubt your words. He has nothing like in your body language or things like that. He oh can still God. choose oh to doubt it. Of course. Given the interactions that I've seen between Tony and Ivan, I highly doubt Tony would have been willing to lend Ivan any amount of money. Considering all four of us were alchemists and he lived with Max, if he, if he would owe money to anybody, it would have been Max, not Tony. Heck, I spotted him money to help him get a better auto mail arm back before we traveled up north where it was cold. And he took care of me, so I see no reason why he would have left any debts unpaid. Especially not to Tony. So I didn't actually leave, but uh, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to kind of pipe up a little bit. I should mention, I did have a couple things with Ivan. Uh, I gave so him a little bit of money to... Uh, <laughs> Fixed himself up a little bit after we got home before our last mission. He, uh, we had had a little bit of a dicey situation with, uh, you know, he, uh, who was the one that blew him up, the barbed alchemist? Yogged? Headhunter. Oh, no, so the one who blew have... himself up, that was Yogged, yeah. No, yeah, Yogged. Okay, after, uh, we encountered Yogged McGee and his forces, uh, Ivan was reprimanded a little bit because of his unfortunate uh quick trigger finger actions and i bought him a couple things to uh make sure that he was taken care of he mentioned needing a couple things so i did that now fuck you tony. i don't think that tony would lie however if i a hundred thousand is a lot i will admit i think i wouldn't even count how much ivan owed me but it wouldn't have been more than Fifteen twenty. Oh my goodness! Please, no. Fifteen twenty thousand. This can't be actual loss. All right. So there's two hundred cents towards that right now. I will pay back Ivan's debt in full. Me? I will now let. Not to you, Tony. All right. I'm gonna go find a lawyer. You you giving him how much? I give him two hundred cents. Okay. Or you give it 200 cents. You, Elijah. I'm going to look at it and then just hand it back. No. He's dead now. You don't need to pay a dead man's debts. They're already fulfilled. That's the custom of all deaths. You don't ask for payment from a dead man. All right. I just wanted to make sure Ivan, you know, you didn't have any ill will towards him, you know? My friend, I have a lot of money. 
and I have a lot of patience. And one thing that I do know is that your your friend and my friend were both well well he was uh remarkable and I could never take that away from him. He may have been a little reckless, but he got his job done. Well, he was in his flamboyant was very way. Reckless. I saw him curve a bullet. I saw him curve a bullet once. Wait, wait. He did the curve bullet with you guys? He curved oh, a bullet. Man, he was practicing that for a long... He practiced on that for I don't even know how long I could tell you. Almost to... Actually, you see this? You see my chip gear right here? Yeah. That motherfucker actually tried to attempt to do that do that shot and chipped off part of my ear. He nods. If I may, Arthur. Oh yes, I'm not going. I'm not going to stand here and say that Ivan was the best of us, but I can definitely say he was not the worst of us. He was a soldier. He handled things a little bit differently than some other people would, but he was a good guy. He was. He had, he had his moments. And he deserved better. Definitely deserved better than how he died. As I said, I'm going to be here for a little bit. And what the fuck? I you know. <laughs> you so much, Tony. That was good. That was really good. <laughs> oh my God. Shout out to Johnny Depp. Yeah. Oh, fuck. No. Let's not. Why? <laughs> because with the way the world is going with censorship, that's gonna get this is that's gonna get this video flagged. Oh no, there are videos all everywhere. This no one gives a fuck about this so stuff. So many, so many. <laughs> if it involves celebrities, there's no copyright law in the world that can save you. <laughs> yep. <laughs> I mean, yeah, true. I mean, look at how long they tried to get t Pam. Pamela Anderson, Tommy Lee sex video back. Yeah. Look at Kim K. Look at what? Kim K. She fucking try is trying to sue Roblox. <laughs> I heard about that. I forgot. Yeah. I don't. This is why I don't worry. This is why I don't pay attention to the outside world. This is why I hate the Kardashians. Yep, me too. Anyways. <laughs> Man. Yeah, so y'all, y'all are continuing your conversation here. Anything else you said? <gasps> oh my God! Yes. Either I've way, been yada yada blah blah. In his room, I was a smart mother. Sorry. You need a gun? Oh, I'm sorry. I know. I I thought I was muted because of the shit. I my bad. I was like <laughs> thinking back. And I'm like, I remember stating I was a few of my fucking guns back there. Yes. I just sorry. <laughs> this is true. So, Arthur, are you also a state alchemist? Uh, no, I, I'm not a state alchemist, but I do devil in a little bit of alchemy. Okay, you guys kind of see, like, a gourd on my back, you know? Oh. Not alchemy. Oh, I prefer sand, you know? I, I like the way it feels. It's so, it's interesting, you know? You can make a lot of things from it. You'd be really tricky with it. Like, sand? I grab... Like, you can do all types of things without reaching my pocket and pull out some sand and just be like, you can do all types of things with it. it can Please shush sh sh Tony. I want to I wanna <laughs> do something. I'm going to walk by and, <laughs> like, stand by Elijah. But I want to, and I will roll a sleight of hand. I want to put my hand on the gourd and make it, like, everything inside of it just fucking solidify and get heavy as shit. <laughs> uh, so it's sand. You won't be making it denser with just what it has in there. <clears throat> I trust me. I thought. Listen, I've already. Can I, like, just, tried to... can I use alchemy to like make a hole so it's just leaking out? Yeah, that, that's possible. Okay. What do you want me to roll first? Uh, do you still have hand a skill whoa. check, or is it just stealth? Well, hold up. What's that gourd man? I had a skill check. Slave hand. Then. <laughs> Anyone who's trying to see this can roll perception. Isn't there something yes. I can do? Like, uh. Anything Tony, alchemic, anytime uh, Tony moves, I'm rolling. Alchemic <laughs> defense? Is it, can I do alchemic defense? Uh, you. No. This is determining first whether or not you're aware of what he's doing. Okay, so uh, what would I got to roll now? Uh, perception. Oh, please. What am I rolling? Slave My band. Discord was acting up. Can Elijah, can you roll to uh, cause a distraction? 
<laughs> Stop! No! Elijah, don't you dare! You did this your own damn self. I'm sorry. I thought he had no fucking skill checks. What the fuck do you mean he has no skill checks? Are you... You were the worst liar. Perception? Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> Suck a dick. Suck you! Suck my, nut, you're Arthur. Fine. Suck my fucking nut, Arthur. Suck it. Get your mouth on my left testicle and lift. So you are not you are not aware of what he's doing, so you cannot use alchemic defense. Now roll the skill check, Tony. Wait, I'm gonna roll. I'm, I'm gonna with the spirit there. Oh, yes. Oh, damn it. I still can't, right? Because then at twenty. Uh, Forty nine. Yeah, you definitely succeed, Tony. So there's now just a little bit of a hole in the the gourd, leaking sand as you walk back around. Elijah, should we just head out of here? I'm gonna look at I'm it and be like, out. "What in the world?" I'm gonna try. try yeah, to you're not aware of it quite yet. You're not aware of it quite. Yet. On that, okay. Well, yeah, we can get out. It's been nice meeting you, Arthur. Um, you as well, Elijah. Tony, pleasure. Elsawa, do you want to get a drink with us? Yeah. I don't drink. I have some other business to attend to in the city, but thank you. Remember, what about Max? he likes to play with dead bodies. Oh, yeah, I forgot about that. How about oh, you, Max? My goodness. You want <laughs> something to drink? I have some, some other business to attend to myself. What's wrong, Tony? Do you want me to play Shrugs. with you next? If you're <clears throat> uh, inviting me, so. I'm sure you've had your fair time playing with men, Osawa, but I think I it's cool. not the time. I was curious if you had. Uh... If you had uh, forgotten about that, Max. No. <laughs> oh, no. I may forget some things. Oh, trust me. Tony's not cold enough for me to play with him yet. <laughs> GG. <laughs> he just blinks twice and turns on his heel. <laughs> All right, so you You're two walk away. Were... You're the one trying to blame me for Ivan's death, but doesn't check our inventory and sees that I still have Petten, so you can't fucking blame me for that. GG. Oh, don't worry. I'll be. I'll yeah, be taking. I'm not a man. I'll be uh, not doing it, Arthur. Yeah, I'll be doing a close examination. Something How? Fishy I, because <laughs> it's, it's already been replaced. I have full bottle of Petten. His red or Ivan's body is completely gone. What's your investigation, Arthur? I, I, I'm just speaking that shit. He's gonna I, lick I, his friend's ashes and I, see I, what I, I can try to figure out a way to like get you, but like now it's just gonna be like you and me are gonna have to hate each other at some point, or around, you know, <laughs> it'll just it'll it'll come, it'll come. I'll get my reason. I'll definitely, I'm sure I'll have a reason once you I figure out my gourd is all fucked up. <laughs> so Max, what are you going to be doing the rest of today? Well, I have to go meet with the fear and. uh yeah, I do know how long it's going to take. Yeah, I'll roll that to you. Uh, but I'll I'll let you know um, once I'm done. Of well, course, if you, you need much. anything. Well, Max, I was heading that way anyway. If you need a, you know, someone to push you and you know chat, and still want, if you wanted to, we can still uh, swing by your place. You know, I wanted to see, uh, you know, Ivan's le left goods. Of course, of course. Hey, here actually. Um, I can get a sheet of paper out and write down the address, and then pull out uh, pull out a spare key. <clears throat> Here you oh. can uh, you can let yourself in. Uh, I don't know how long this is gonna take, <laughs> or meta game if I'll return. Uh, I don't <laughs> mind if I uh, make some holes outside. Yeah, just uh, one one thing. Just uh, stay out of the the basement if you would. The basement. Oh, I love going deeper and deeper. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> out of the basement for you. Yeah, for for your own good and and for mine. <clears throat> All right, you know, from one alchemist to another, I can I can understand. I can definitely understand. Definitely want to. We're gonna have to talk some more about that. You know, I am an alchemist, so I, I do want to know about uh, that. If we can maybe chat some more, if you're ever down for it. Of course, of course. Well, good. All right. Well, I'll see you at your house then. He lights another cigarette. I'm not gonna light another cigarette. I can't keep fucking role playing this dude. Chain smoking cigarette like the anime dude. I'm like, holy shit. Yeah, hurt yourself in real life. <laughs> um, but he lights another cigarette. He's like, all right, Max, I'll, uh, I'll push. I'll at least give you a, you know, push out the door or push out this way. Where did you say you were heading then, Arthur? Um, I was gonna head out and, you know, I gotta pick up some supplies in the town, you know, and make my way to Max's house. I think I'm gonna stay there for a little bit. 
I'm going to be heading that way as well. If uh want to walk together, I can give you kind of a catch up on our uh, on our team and everything going on. Sure, why not? I mean, I'm going to be staying with Max's Max's place, so I'm sure I'll <clears throat> see you guys, you know, around if if I stay at Max's. Oh, definitely. I, you know, no, I got some research notes. If you ever want to compare notes, ever. No, I mess. I'm more. I mess more with sand. I don't know if that's more of your style, but uh, it's just sand's so fun. It can manipulate it into so much stuff. My main goal is to try to uh, make liquid liquid glass. <laughs> so much fun. Ooh. <laughs> Definitely sounds interesting. Yeah, it's a lot harder than it's it looks, but something I've been working on, you know. Glass, no issue. And no issue. Molten glass. Mm. Gotta make my research knows better. <laughs> <laughs> Let's get this bread. Let's go. <laughs> Tony would rat you out. Don't let him know. <laughs> By the way, I, I if you haven't seen in Discord, just be sure to open that up real quick. Yep. Yeah, I saw it. GG. <laughs> Waiting for it to load. It's beautiful. <laughs> <laughs> from fucking... <laughs> so fucking good. <laughs> that scary movie. <laughs> yeah. Oh, Yo. snap. <laughs> Can you imagine Max doing a spin like that fight and like... Just you know, grabbing two... <laughs> Two pieces of chalk out. <laughs> you don't need chalk, bro. Oh, you don't need chalk. Yeah. <laughs> what do you mean? <laughs> All right. It's fucking gold. You do that, you just start clapping your booty cheeks together. You're fucking gold. Cheeky. <laughs> 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 oh, snap. I'm sorry. I'm all right. That's just. <sighs> so y'all heading your own ways now. Yep. Yeah, yeah. All right, Max. Yeah, my boy. Max, where are you going? Just doing. You know, I'm going to Peter's place as requested. I guess we're gonna have dinner. Yeah, something like that. You arrive at the Fear's place. I'll just drag him back here onto the map. We'll just act like this is that. Jesus, is Max gonna die? You said something Maybe. like that. Don't. <laughs> <laughs> clap, your, clap your ass cheeks, Max. Clap your ass cheeks. <laughs> Guard lets you in. You go inside. He says, "Hello, Max. Please take a seat." Here, uh, nice to meet you. Or see you. Sorry, <laughs> a, little, a little nervous. Uh. <laughs> of course, of course, Max. There's no need to be worried. I merely wanted to ask about the taboo. And I see that was uh, included in the report. <clears throat> of course, it was worth notifying me. Kimberly was just doing his job. Of course, of course. Didn't, that, didn't turn out as, as as expected. So clearly you now understand why it is the taboo. Not entirely. Sure, we understand very little about it, but that doesn't mean it's, uh, you know, it, it, it can't be, it can't be learned, I guess I should say. Surely so, there's some secret to it, right? I'm not entirely sure about that, Max. Unfortunately, if that hasn't persuaded you and your new situation doesn't make you understand, I'm afraid there might be nothing that I can say to deter you. Well, I suppose I can settle on the fact that the next time you try and perform such a task, it will most likely kill you. Well, let's hope. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> I don't want to see you dead, Max, but if you insist on pursuing this venture, I warn you that it will happen. The pursuit of science was never a, never a safe one, fear. <clears throat> yes, but most of the time after you learn the risks, you don't try and recreate it. No, oh, I'm aware of the risk. Now I'll just take more precautions next time. What will you do? <clears throat> All in time, I'll, uh, we'll see. More research is required. Uh, 
I've just scratched the surface. I need to learn more before making a second attempt. Max is dead. <laughs> Very well, Max. You may leave. <clears throat> oh, are we not going to have dinner? No, I merely wish to speak to you. No. It's like, damn, you tricked me. Tony. <laughs> you wanted dinner. I was just there with Tony at the table, chilling with the family. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'm dead. Stop fighting. <laughs> All right. Is there anything else that anyone wants to do right now before a potential time skip is going to occur? I want to have a conversation with Arthur as we walk. Okay. I like this Tony kid. I'm pretty sure I'm going to hire inspect Sherlock Holmes to figure this out. Pretty sure he's a bad guy. Oh, by the way, Tony, if you're looking, you don't find, uh, you don't find Saul Goodman, but you do find Paul Greatman. I'm going to go in. I want to. I want to speak to this man. Yeah, okay, we'll do that here after a solo out there. After combo. Swear to God, if you sue my fucking dead character that you killed. <laughs> no, I have a different idea. Ah, He's gonna suck, sue his family. Suck my dick. El <laughs> <laughs> like... Sawa, Arthur. So, Arthur, what, what have you heard about our team? Uh, you know, I haven't heard. I mean, I've heard from little stories from Kimberly and Ivan, honestly. Uh, you know, about the missions and other stuff. I mean, I heard that he, you know, really enjoyed being with you guys. I heard he was some replacement for some, uh, I don't know, some kid that didn't really last long. Oh, yeah, I believe that was Hagane. Oh, was it? I think he mentioned his name once. Ah, uh, ah, uh, Hagane. I, I, I don't know. <laughs> Ganahay, yeah. So, uh, Ganahay? Matthew McGonaghy. <laughs> but yeah, I mean, I, no, uh, I've heard good things about you. All you mean, he enjoyed this time with you. Well, I have a distinct feeling that you're gonna probably end up interacting with our group more in the future than we may have all expected. Or Shadow. <laughs> <laughs> but I would like to give you an idea of some of the stuff on our group just so that you're more prepared. Okay. Elijah, he's overall a good guy. Uh, he's doing lightning alchemy, combines it with his firearms. It's definitely unique and he's very effective. Has some personal uh -huh. history with the Fuhrer. Ah, it's Can't always... say whether it's a good or bad thing, though. I need alchemy, huh? Could be something that could be something fun to uh, examine. Max has been doing more research into some more of the gray areas, I believe. Ah, the taboo. Uh, he, you know, what he. <laughs> 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 I just thought of like, oh, like the guy from fucking Tatooine in the first, uh, the slave owner. What's his name? <laughs> uh, Watto. Yeah, that's what oh. I just heard. <laughs> ah, yeah. A Tridarian, eh? It's so Jedi mind tricks won't work on me. Only money. GG. <laughs> well, yes, yes. I will not give away two slaves for one broken speeder. <laughs> GG. Well, I'm not going to elaborate on what level of studies he's gone into out of respect. Um, that's something that if he feels comfortable talking about it with you, he will. He's definitely unconventional. And that has... It's labeled him as a traitor to certain people because he's gone outside of traditional means in pursuit of left knowledge. with the traitors? You're not here, Tony. <laughs> Fuck off. <laughs> but I've never seen him actively do anything to try to hurt anybody on our team. Okay. Well, that's good. Ivan spoke highly of Max. So, I I trust, I trust, honestly, I trust your team. And like, Ivan trusted you guys to the very end. I'll do my, yeah. Sorry, I almost... Tony is definitely one of the most capable alchemists that I've met, even compared to some of the more senior members in the military. 
Uh, However, I've he heard Tony's does... skills are very, very good. Is he an ice alchemist? Yep, that's his specialty is with ice. Uh... The only thing that concerns me is sometimes I feel as though his ambition to get the job done may blur the line with what sits more within reason and morality. Uh, that, he does come off as that kind of guy, huh? I, I can't put my finger on it. I can't prove it. But I truly believe that he has something to he had something to do with Ivan's death. I feel like he had some hand in it. I mean, I, I literally put just... the grenades on his body. Tony, shut the fuck up. You're not here. <laughs> <laughs> so, and he has, he has cocked off to Kimberly and almost been thrown off the mission on the same mission. And before, so... okay, before we go farther in this conversation, is this conversation actually going to happen, Connor? Because it, it, it also will have a reason because I'm going to let Arthur, like, think that to make sure that that's gonna like that would. Well, I mean, also I had a reason to doubt of his own, but that's already been covered. Okay, I just wanted to make sure before I I go with this. Okay, I wasn't gonna, we were gonna fuck anything up for you. Okay, so you really think Tony has something to do with death? I really do. Huh. I I don't know if he fully. I I feel like he had some hand in it happening, whether or not his intention was to kill Ivan. Or not, I can't say. But I definitely feel like he did something. And it led to Ivan's death, whether it was intentional or unintentional. Regardless, he does not seem to show any remorse toward it. And I know him and Ivan had problems in the past. I would just like to think that Tony is not someone... Tony is someone who's driven to accomplish the task. I just hope that Tony's not somebody that would let his personal feelings against his teammates put their lives in jeopardy over a disagreement. Because if that's the would... case, he may be a bigger risk to all of us in the military than any force we fight. I would never. <sighs> you might be right. This that's is two problem. counts of defamation for my lawyer. <laughs> You're not here. You're not aware of it. <laughs> so, you so might... pissed off, Ice Queen. <laughs> Why does my nose keep bleeding? <laughs> Somebody's talking He's about sneezing. you, my friend. And then, as for me, I am pursuing I'm medical angel. alchemy. I'm pursuing medical alchemy. I want to use my skills to be able to help people. While I am reasonably effective in combat, not... Tanks just drove by. I paused. I paused speaking so that it was easier for Connor to cut that out. I appreciate that. I, I, I want to try to help people, but I also want to make sure I can protect my team when need be. That's very fact, bold of you, Sawa. I actually, for I, I voluntarily exiled myself from Ishval to come to Central to pursue alchemy and. I have a feeling that may come back to haunt me as this war continues to rage with Ishval. When we what are you going to do out when, you, when you see your own brothers and sisters out there? You're at war with them. Are you going to pull that trigger? I guess I'll find out when the time comes, but I think I'll be able to. And it's mainly because I left them because of their teachings being outdated and archaic. It's an old way of thinking. And while well, there's nothing wrong with holding on to some amount of ancestry and history, the circle of violence out there continues and they refuse to move on to more modern things that could help benefit society as a whole. So I can understand, I can keep the respect of the old world teachings, but we need to move into the new generation. Understandable, Asawa. And the other thing I want to mention to Tony with the alchemy stuff. I actually, uh, once I became a state alchemist, I purchased a uh, an auto mail shop in Central. I was actually hoping to have uh, 
Ivan join me there and work with me, given that he had an auto mail arm, he'd be a great person to interact with the customers to help oh, work right, on the fix. Right. Um, he had a great people personality at times. Uh, and I'm, that's why I'm, I'm glad hoping, I work in the coal mines and I just to just play in the dirt in the sand. So and I hope Max may as well. But do you have any questions about our team at this time? No, no. I think I'm gonna I but uh Tony is definitely an interesting figure. I'm gonna keep my eyes on him. Learn a little more about this. I really hope he wouldn't kill his own teammate. Because, yeah, Ivan was, you know, Ivan at times. But no one deserves to believe they're going to do the right thing and die for it. You know? I mean, I'll admit Ivan made me mad during combat, and I practically knocked him out with a single hit for it. Hey, have you but seen I this like ear? I point across. You see how I get this ear? I did notice that. I was going to ask. This ear is because that motherfucker wanted to pull some Kurt Bullet shit before he got good at it. And I lost part uh, of my ear. Yeah. He to talk to me about his shenanigans. That's why we didn't talk for three years. We still wrote each other once in a while, you know, because our families are so close. But I never got to really... I forgive him. Oh, for damage in my ears. <laughs> The only thing he's wearing is his auto mail arm. It's attached and just right in front of his crotch. <laughs> what the fuck? I'm done. Oh, shit. But uh, yeah, so... Thank you, also. Auto- I, I appreciate oh. you uh, letting me know of all this information. Of course. I, I'm not going to say that I'm a perfect being. I'm not saying that I'm a perfect human or the best person here, but I want to try to stay impartial and I care for the team. And as long as nobody tries to directly screw me over, I'll go out of my way to help everybody out here. I have, I have helped Max, Elijah, Tony, and Ivan on multiple occasions. I saved Tony's mom's life a while back. Saved her life? Well, what happened with that? That's a story for another day, but let's just say uh, there's there's some tension between people of the team. Uh, there's always tension no matter where you go. I'm sure I'll, there'll be even more tension if I'm ever come around your group with Tony. I'll try to act normal for now until I get my I really find out what's going on. Of course. I just wanted to give you an idea of where to keep an eye on. And just a little bit of backstory on everybody. I I really appreciate it. I'm going to go ahead to Max's house. Well, actually, I'm going to go ahead to the... I had to uh, get some, something to eat and something. Uh, get some supplies. Um, in town. Of course. I need, to, uh, I need to head in toward the library. I need to see if I can make a phone call. Nice, nice. Let the librarian Jane know that... I'll be coming for my usual uh, books shortly, if you see her. God, Keep them out of town. No one... I want to come in, like... I don't know, I'll just fucking... Sorry. <laughs> I'll just be fucking... Good, good attempt on the fly, though. <laughs> mm-hmm. Hey, Arthur says, you know, he's got... You know, he's have his usual ready. Who? I was hoping he'd go in there. It's fine. And I'm like, That's I don't know that chick, bro. Maybe I should have let that, that, that thought occur to be after. <laughs> Sir, our, that name is not in our records. Um. All right, uh, Tony, you enter a building. Hi, Paul Graveman. How can I be of service? Oh my God, well, I swear. I need to ask you. When it comes down to it, if someone's willing to pay enough, how much work are you willing to do? Uh, if they're willing to pay enough, I'll be willing to put as much work as it takes. What's your win loss record? Uh, seventy-five, twenty-five. All right, we need to speak in private. All right. Looks around. There's no one else in the building. All right. I believe there is a family and close acquaintances of the family that are actually against the military, and they're actually aiding the military. 
I am seeking, and I am willing to pay a hefty I, amount. I'm sorry, I got to cut you off right there. They're against the military, and they're aiding the military. They provide supplies for the military, but I also believe they are providing supplies to the enemies. All right, which enemies? The Ishvalans. Okay. I would like to investigate the land cruisers and any and any other business associates of theirs. I believe if you dig deep enough, you will find this. Uh, so I'm going to have to turn down this case. Why? You said the land cruisers. One of their primary clients being the military to investigate the military would be tantamount to treason. I'm not having you investigate the military. I want you to focus solely on the land cruisers and them doing dirty business. Uh, that I can do. Ah. Uh... Fingers are retracted. What do you usually charge your clients? Uh, well, there's going to be a, uh, what's that fee called? I know what you're talking about. A retainer. Retainer, retainer. fee, yep. thank you. I understand. Oh, uh, yeah, that's going to be a 5000 for that. I'm giving you 50000 today. I want this to be your soul objective in this can do sir i'll get right on it are you really gonna give him fifty thousand? i'm just... giving him fifty thousand dollars <laughs> oh my grand <laughs> if if they did anything they're fucked that's all i gotta say he was all right also assuming they did anything so i Tony still have 191,000. i'm not worried i don't buy anything i, mean, even I if... bought the cheapest fucking shit <laughs> Actually, I think I spent less than you did, and I got a business. That was gonna kill you. <laughs> you might have. All right. Well, we'll get right on that. We'll be sure to contact right. if anything we discover. You're gonna die. Awesome. <laughs> He's gonna make it. All right. Gonna is that it for you, Tony? <laughs> yep. All right, Elijah. Anything else you're doing? Smart motherfucker, though. I know. <laughs> Not nothing I can directly think of right now. Um, Technically, I already do have something I want to okay. do. That. What do you want to do? I want to apologize to Roy for being weird. That's it. Okay. Is yeah, that was. Uh, you might want to work on that. Remember, we sure might be military, but empathy is still important for us to make the lives of the civilians better. I have a lot of empathy for a lot of people, but I just it's not been a great trip. I understand. I'm sorry you had to go through that. Hey, my friend, I trust you. Now, I should warn you that uh, I, it's not quite pretty out there. With the Ishvalans, I mean, if we're going into war, are you prepared to do the things that, well, I guess the old Ignition Alchemist taught you? Of course. I'm going to give a sense of this. Just check, see where his intentions lie, you know? Um, sense motive 18. As far as you can tell, he's being genuine. He, like, looks him in the eyes for a second and gives a nod. You're a good man, Roy. Thank you. We need good men. Or this place is just going to keep getting worse. Uh, yeah. Okay. We're the next generation. We have to act like the next generation. We have to I'll be sure to uphold the values of the like, military. Don't you worry. He, like, raises an eyebrow. This is somebody he's drank with before. He's been a little formal. Are you okay? Yeah. You sure? Of course. I believe him. So. Hmm. Well, I won't bother you then. Have a good night. You as well. Look at out there. You to head out. You two part ways. All right, Alsawa, what are you doing? So I have two quick things I want to do. Because you said there's potential time skip. Yep. So, 
Uh, first thing, I what is phone call technology at this point? Uh, phones exist, but they're like uh, think of them kind of like nineteen hundreds, like uh, cell phone, or phone booths that you see in places, things like that. Capital Wired like uh, rotaries in homes, things like that. Like you could tap phone conversations. Um, <laughs> do they have formal phone books, or if I needed to look for specific numbers, would I need to go to somewhere like the library? Uh, there are phone books. Okay, I want to go look for a phone boot, phone book for an an auto mail shop that the name of which I recognize from the time we were in Rush Valley, because I do believe we were there. Uh, sure. Yeah, you find one. I'm gonna give them a call. All right. I don't remember who was there for this. Uh, make up a new name. Other Rush. person's home for the day. Well, I don't remember if it was the person who's canon or if it was like their superior at the time. Rush Valley, Rush Valley. There's the map, and I do not have the token drawn now. All right, give me a moment. Fuck you, Elijah. <laughs> <laughs> Carried in combat? You mean the guy that grapples people and was in trapping bears in stone? <laughs> well, shooting your own dog if it gets captured. I mean, fuck. At least my hey, dumbass hey, didn't hey, try hey. to put a lightning bullet through the dirt during my alchemy performance. Rip. Oh my god, this shit should have exploded. I don't care what anybody said. <laughs> alchemy or not, that, shit, that motherfucker should have exploded. <laughs> right, you hear uh, the phone pick up on the other end. Uh, hello, this is Garfield. Good evening. My name is El Sawa. I'm calling from Central. Uh, I believe we had seen your shop when we were in Rush Valley a while back. I wanted to ask a question. Well, I apologize if I don't, uh, as I don't remember you, but go ahead, sweetie. Well, uh, recently I actually purchased a <laughs> small auto mail shop that was going out of business, and I'm looking to kind of establish a small shop here in uh, um, in Central. And I just wanted to find out what the fuck is that sound? It's Red's door. Red, Jesus Christ. Please mute yourself. <laughs> I server muted him. Okay. <laughs> you cannot server mute him, he's muted himself. Okay. Uh, essentially, what I wanted to try to find out was what where do you guys get your supplies for making auto mail? And can you give me any re any ideas for reference material so I could try to do something similar up here? Oh well, uh, reference material. Most of that's going to be pretty. Uh, that's going to be pretty uh, trade secrety. So I can't quite do that one. As for material, you just have to find any steel mine or any uh, steel distributor that would be willing to uh, cut you a deal, a bargain. Okay. And I don't mean to encroach on any of your territory because being in a completely different area, mm -hmm. I'm more looking for just more local stuff and just wanted to get some professional advice. Of course. Uh, anything else? No. I think that'll be about it for this conversation. Um, If I do get down to Rush Valley, I would love to uh, stop in and learn and I would gladly pay to uh, maybe apprentice for a little while to learn some stuff, so I wouldn't be asking something for nothing. Well, if that ever happens, uh, be sure to find me. I'll see what I can do. Awesome. Thank you so much. Mm -hmm. Have a good one. Click. Okay. Click. And the second thing I want to do is, I want to go find Captain Miles. Alright. Who I did not see at the funeral, so... You end up finding him. Ah, uh, hello, Asawa. What did you need? Good, e Good evening, Captain. It's been quite a while. Indeed it has. Well, as you're fully aware, the war in Ishfall has kicked off, and uh, I feel like it's going to become more significant as time comes on. I wanted to show you this. I'm going to hand him the slip of paper. This was stuck in my pocket earlier this week. No markings, nothing detailed. Well, 
Sounds to me like it's probably just some racist idiot. If it's something worse than that, only you would know who it might be. Well, I've, for the most part, kept my nose clean here. I really haven't made any enemies in this area. At least, none deserving. There's at least one person here that doesn't like me, but he doesn't like anybody, so... That's not true. Is this more defamation? I'll pay another 50000 Lord have mercy. <laughs> this was good. Uh, when he dies. Go when ahead. Dies. <laughs> My track record's as clean as your virgin underwear. GG. Tony is a virgin. He's devoted. <laughs> he's a temper girl. Saving it for Christ. Man. They have <laughs> Oh, Lord have mercy. What's happening? Saving it for Father. <laughs> well, I have a feeling you. I don't know if it'll be so much on you, but I feel like, especially with the war getting more intense, things might get a little bit tense for any Ishvalans that are here in Central. And I'm pretty sure I'd mentioned it in the past, but I did want to um, mention it again. If there's anything coming up. that could be conducive to help our efforts in the war that only someone from Ishval may be able to fill. I'm fully willing to volunteer. I appreciate that. And uh, while, I, while I appreciate that, I don't think it's the kind of thing that we should probably partake in. If there are issues involving us because of our race, I think having us be divided would be better for the moment. I can definitely see that. I wasn't sure. I know, given recent circumstances, sometimes the military's thinking may not always line up with what I think might be the best idea. So I wanted to come to somebody that might be able to see in more of a gray area in the middle, given our particular circumstance. Not that I would ever want to go against a direct order. Just simply expressing an opinion that maybe some of the higher-ups that are not Ishvalan might think differently of. Just get some feedback, that's all. I understand. Well, that's everything at this time. Uh, if anything changes or comes up, obviously you know how to get a hold of me. And I appreciate your time, sir. And uh, thank you. Of if you need anything, you know how to contact me as well. Of course. I'm going to head out for the night. All right. That it for also, you? Fuck yep. Also, fuck you, Tony. I roleplay better than you. <laughs> <laughs> What's Tony's personality? Just... I'm edgy. <laughs> I just I'm don't Nick. take five hours. I'm, I I am quick to the point. Well, someone argued that's, that's worse role play, isn't it? Absolutely. Not if that's how I want Tony to be. Yeah, that's true. But it doesn't mean it's bad role play. Course. I like getting involved in my characters. I like depth. <laughs> I like complexity. I mean, for love of God, look at how what look at how I played Lavender. This is true, Max. Anything you're doing? Uh, free time skip like these two days. Yes. Do you have your camera like, that right low before you you're leave. half a man. Like, are you both <laughs> playing with the camera? <laughs> 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 this. About time Tony was funny. Get good. <laughs> he is that bad. <laughs> I have overtaken him. <laughs> GG. I am just forehead now. I mean, I'm vertical, so or horizontal. I'm now uh, super close to the mic. So I can do He's some right ASMR. There. Hey guys, how you doing? I Connor, if you, you ever wanna, if you ever want to do ASMR, please right do. Now. I will. I would actually enjoy it, I think. Well, well, well. <laughs> it's I, Agent Rusty. Um, I so I'm going to do that, but I only got to like episode 90. I still haven't finished the Ruby D&D &D and I really need to. So you're pretty much right there, just the final home stretch. I know. I need to like recap a couple episodes because I literally don't remember anything anymore. Rewatch the whole series one day and just hate my life for like a couple days, but also not because you know. 
that's a lot to watch. A lot. <laughs> like I'm not that. a, I'm not well, a Naruto host. though, and I've watched yeah. that three times over. So. And you can always set it to times two speed. I know that's what a, a number of people do. No, no, I'm not that kind of guy. Ruins the experience. <laughs> All right, so Max. Uh, no, I think I'll just rest uh, pre time skip because uh, okay. between the time skip, uh, I'm sure there'll be a couple things that yep. need to be done. All right, Arthur. Yes, sir. Uh, Anything you're doing? Uh, let me get some supplies. Okay, you can. We can take care of that at the end, or uh, right. about the time skip whole situation. Actually, I'm not really getting supplies actually because uh, uh, Elijah sent me a message that actually made sense because I really don't need a gun because of the whole uh, I was trying to like you know shoot glass and shit, you know. Mm. So, I don't even. Really he literally need a gun. has his alchemy hit check is his best hit check, so that's why I was just like, you don't really need it, but okay. And then I thought that's about, it. I was like, oh yeah, I was just talking about going like, pew, what are you gonna do with that, <laughs> fucker? <laughs> All right. Then we're going to end things there with the time skip leading to the year. What was it? I just had it pulled up and then I clicked away. War. 1908. War Escalation. War you never changes. Levels? You're all level 20. Hell yeah. I don't like the sound of that. <laughs> oh. Uh, <laughs> wait, what year were we in? Oh, uh, like You were we in 1905. I feel like we can't die now. So another three year time skip. Yep. No, we can die. No, I feel like if we no, I feel like if we die, you're, that's it. <laughs> like, yeah, yeah, we are oh. at the point now as well that if you die from now from this point on, it's permanent. So like, Eli's like, now no new characters. Two. I'm actually the only one that's had a new character. Just can I go like, fight Bradley real quick then? Yeah, yeah, absolutely can. <laughs> <laughs> can I go fight Bradley real quick? Oh my god! Did you do that class? I definitely could. I thought he was going to kill you when you said you were going to keep researching the taboo. <laughs> I really thought. Oh, Adam so I. I thought you were going to get Hogganade. Well, Adam <laughs> Al told, told him straight to it's... their face. He's like, well, listen, can we still at least keep researching, yada, yada, you know? That's all we've been wanting to do. And he's like, all right, just don't interfere with uh, Father's project. We'll kill you. <laughs> well, that's uh, Max doing that. Like, him doing that in the first place is what saved his life, him talking about that kind of stuff. Oh, was he going to kill him? What was his No, in the first place. Like, back with Hogane and Max when there was oh. the initial thing was happening. <laughs> okay, I thought you meant just class. now. I was like, oh, was it you were going to kill him? And metagame, you know, that part of the reason why he would want Max alive is because he's a candidate. Yeah. Now he I is a candidate. I don't know what that means, so... Yeah. They're now mm-hmm. worth more to uh He's to a candidate Bradley for and... sacrifice. He's now worth more to Bradley than I will ever be. Oh yeah, Max could ask, Max could. I ask still for don't know what that means. I yeah. got that far in. <laughs> yeah, I know. I'm gonna spoil the actual oh series for you. Max, Max, <laughs> take a weird request. Tony's head on a silver platter. I Jeez. bet they give it to you. <laughs> it feels like taking candy from a baby. <laughs> Tony, new character, bitch. <laughs> a fear trap. <laughs> Tony tried to stop me. So, <laughs> thanks for watching. We'll see you next time. Bye. Oh, bye bye. Arthur out. Well, thank you for watching. Remember to hit that like button, subscribe, and ring that bell for notifications if you like this. If you're looking to support us, be sure to check the description below for a link to our merch store and Patreon you can check out. Speaking of which, I'd like to give a special thank you to this month's patrons. All right. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time.